Hello, everybody. We're back here. Road to 40 great ones, indeed. We're getting there. I mean, we're at 35 now, so... Anything is possible, man. Anything's possible. We got this, I believe. Go, thank you for the six months, dude. Really appreciate that. Hope you're doing phenomenal. Hey, B. Jones, how's it going, dude? How's it going? What rack do I want my new Great One Whitetail to be? I would say the typical rack. It's the only one I don't have, so I, I'm due for it at this point, you know? No, Pike, I don't have zero members. It takes a bit to update. It has to, uh, it has to update. Nice, uh, Bricker Gaming, nice. Yeah, it's always a little bit delayed. Whenever I first start up, uh, Streamlabs, it takes it a little while to get going. Actually, we gotta start the run over here. I don't wanna get off the normal pattern. Oh, holy Redux. Feels bad, man. At least you get to watch some streams, I guess, but jeez, that sucks, dude. Sorry to hear that, man. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll be feeling better in no time. What's my least favorite animal to hunt? Black bear. Not because I don't like hunting the species, but because the great one has been so rude to me that it's, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's, it's something else. Hey, Tony, how's it going? Good to see ya. It's a Tony. It's a level two. Yeah, we're not getting him. Hey, Thunder, how's it going? Just got on. Did I miss anything? No, we just started. We just started the stream up for the day. I am determined, guys. We will get 40 great ones before the update. 100%. We got to. If the white deal are kind to us, it could totally happen. They've been decently kind recently, so I feel like it's a very high possibility. Yeah, I already responded to you, Bricker Gaming. <laughs> no need to keep uh, saying the same thing. I already responded to you. If keyword, yeah, exactly. It, it is very reliant on them cooperating. So, if they don't cooperate, eh, we could have some problems. We don't know at the moment outdoors in video games. We have no clue when Australia is coming out. All we know is that it's likely gonna be a few weeks away. Jaxi said that it's not even into certification yet on the EW stream the other day. So it sounds like it's not going to be next week or the week after. But it's hard to say. Maybe it will be the week after. Who knows? Uh, change your quality settings, Bentley. Quality settings would be the culprit there. Am I going to grind for the new great one? 100%. I will. I will be grinding for the new great one for sure. So my zones are only females, how can I get males? Uh, don't hunt the female only zones, uh, Nick. If it's female only, it will not get bucks back. I would just move along and find a, uh, a new zone that does have bucks to hunt. Unfortunately, there's not much you can do once they go to doe only. Oh, hey. I'm surprised we got that, but I'll take it. Holy. What is five plus five? A baby five, obviously. 
Uh, of, of course, obviously. We all know that. Troll feels freaking bad, man. Any idea on when you'll hunt bush rangers? I watched your pick bean bay video. Uh, bay video? Uh, probably next time I get a chance to record some videos, so. I do my recording on Wednesday and Saturday. So, it's currently Thursday. Two days from now or so. I'll probably record it in two days. No clue when it'll come out, though. But it'll get recorded in two days. And then release probably a couple days after that. I do quite a bit of my recording and stuff ahead of time. That way I've got plenty of time to like do the editing and live stream and stuff like that. Well, we got a buck over there. Is that a two back there? I think, it, I think that's a two. Yeah, it is. Small two, but it's a two. How many kills? 567. Yeah, you know, that, that might be a lucky number. 567. Maybe the next one will be the great one. That would be amazing. Am I going to grind bears tonight? Maybe. I don't know yet. As always, depends on how I feel. What grind should you do that's not too hard? Uh, Red Deer's a pretty easy grind, and so is Whitetail. Especially if you go to Tiabaroa for the Red Deer. That map is just... It's a cakewalk, honestly. It's a cakewalk of a grind for Tiabaroa Red Deer. They're, they're in such, like, a... Condensed part of the map, like... There's not a lot of water they can be at, so it ends up being really easy. Hey, Drawn, how's it going? For my great one grind, if 75% of my white tail level 1s, should I start to shoot them because there aren't enough 2s and 3s to produce respawns? I mean, with like 75% of your white tails level 1s, there should be plenty of 2s to create respawns optic links. You're probably missing a couple herds. I've got my map easily over 75%, and I still have probably 30 level 2s on my map at least, at the very minimum. And, uh, I don't even shoot all of the level 2s I have, because they're in, like, too many zones. And I still get my respawns fine. Uh... Etienne, hopefully I said your name right. Stuck on 44 drink zones for Whitetail. Any advice, please? On Rancho? Um... I mean, really the only thing you can do if you don't have all your drink zones is just go... Search the water again. Search every single body of water on the map. And then search it again, but going in the opposite direction. Like, for example, what I do is, let's say I set the time to whitetail time, right? At this outpost, and then I walk up the river. Whenever I get to the end of the drink time, I'll reset the time again, and then go back downward in the opposite direction. That way I'm hitting each of these zones at a different time throughout their drink time, uh, to compensate for the possibility of some of them being late to their zones. And it usually works out pretty well. Pike, thank you for the super chat. Nice little revamp of some emotes. Oh yeah, I decided to go through like the, uh, the RIP emote and stuff like that and give them a little bit of a facelift to make them stand out more. Glad you like it, dude. I thought it was much needed because a lot of them looked very, very similar. And I wanted them to be a little bit more unique, so they would stand out. How relieved did I feel when I got the super rare for the uh, for the mellow one? I was quite uh, quite happy, quite happy that it did not troll. <laughs> That's that was the biggest thing. I was so happy it didn't troll because the last one did. So that was a breath of fresh air to see it actually make it. Great one kill count, 570. 570 currently on this grind. 
killed my first great one, Whitetail, 1,433 kills. Took me a couple months. Work a lot of hours. Thanks for the vids. Hey, no problem, man. That's awesome. Glad to hear you got your great one. 1,400 kills. That's not too bad. That's about an average grind. I'd say you got decent luck there. Hopefully, it was the rack you wanted. Do I bird hunt on Rev? Or can I do a bird hunt on Rev? Uh, I got a bird hunt on Rev planned for a video tomorrow, I believe. Either tomorrow's video or the day after will be a Rev on Thule bird hunt. How many kills on average does it take to get each of the great ones? And what's the longest grind you've heard of without a great one? Longest grind I've heard of was somebody was like 21,000 without a bear. Uh, in terms of average kill counts for each great one, I would say Whitetail is between 1,000 and 2,000. Red Deer are two to 3,000. Black Bears seem to be about two to 3,000 as well. Moose are like 500 to 1,500. So they're kind of like the short grind. However, it's hard to find a lot of moose, so it kind of evens out. Got a big boy too there. Yeah, 21k without a great one would be heartbreaking, man. If my bear grind ends like that, I'm probably not going to finish it, to be honest. Because that would just be... At that point, I'd just be wondering, is it worth it? Is it worth it to go... 20,000 kills on a species with no great one. <laughs> How can you get respawns to work because mine won't? won't? How early on are you in your grind, uh, hunting, Hunter Gaming Info Weekly? How early on are you in your grind? Like, how many, how many kills have you got approximately? Because if you're under, like, a couple thousand, there's a good chance they're just not going to the same zones when you kill them. And it sounds like that's an intended mechanic as well, based on what Jaxie was saying on the live stream last week. Seems like that is an intended thing. That uh, your herds will not always get the respawns. It may go to different herds. For Whitetail 1218. Okay, yeah, I'd say there's probably a high chance that they're moving around still. The more zones you find and the more you hunt those zones... They will start to settle in and get more consistent. Just a matter of uh, shooting a lot of them until they start to settle in. Don't worry, it was the same way for me when I got the first grind started up here on Layton after we went back to Whitetail and started the herd management on them. It took a while to get consistency. And even now, mine aren't 100% consistent. I have usually between... I'd say between three and eight bucks that don't respawn sometimes. And I have to do a few runs to get them to respawn. Uh, there's also probably three or four bucks that bounce between all of my zones. And it's kind of random where they show up. So it's still not super consistent for me. There is some inconsistencies, but it gets a lot more consistent as you grind on. Doing a great one grind for every species, but only doing it once. Too much dedication for me. Yeah, yeah, that's totally understandable, man. Totally understandable. Why are my red deer spawning back in different zones trying to herd manage and I will get a zone to all fours and after a while a couple will respawn in the zone. Those are solos, Colton. If you have a zone shot down and then randomly there's just a couple more males but they don't show up there all the time. Those are the solo males that move from zone to zone. They're, they're not going to always come back to the same zone because they're a single, a single red deer that is essentially just like bouncing between zones every time you kill it. So I'd say that's probably what's happening there. Yeah, Red Deer have a lot of solos for sure. Also, how you doing, Johnny? I don't know if I said hi. I probably did, but I can't remember if I did. How do you limit the zones to just a dozen or so for Whitetail? You just have to hunt every zone on your map until you find which ones are consistent. I just hunted every single zone on my map until I started noticing patterns with specific zones. 
that were more consistent than others and then I slowly started managing down all the other zones that were inconsistent. Once you manage the inconsistent ones down to all level ones um, and focus on making sure those consistent zones are your main zones, the grind will get more consistent. Uh, it takes a lot of time though. Right, Jim, do I shoot level ones on zones I like to keep and shoot? Uh, yeah, Stormmaster, I'll, I'll give you a little breakdown, right? Let's say this herd right here, let's say it was three bucks and one doe, right? And it's one of my main zones. In that case, I would leave one level one because I can't shoot three bucks in a zone that only has four deer. It would become a solo doe zone. So if it's a zone with four deer, three of them are bucks, I would leave a level one in your main zone. Uh, however, if it's a zone like this, where it's three does and two bucks that I've got in this particular zone, in that case, I would shoot all of the bucks no matter what level they pop up as. Because you're not risking deleting a zone if you shoot too many in that scenario. I use the level ones in my main zones kind of as a way to be like, okay, I know I won't accidentally delete the zone if I leave this buck and that doe alive, you know? New to this game and I don't even know what's going on. Got a diamond pronghorn yesterday. Ooh, that's awesome, dude. Diamond pronghorn is pretty sick as uh, something to get when you're new to the game. That's awesome. Yeah, I can imagine this is probably very confusing. We're uh, we're, we're using some very like advanced in end game tactics called herd management, where we're essentially like leaving low levels on the map and then the respawn system tries to compensate for all the low levels by spawning in higher levels, but it's uh, definitely not something I recommend trying if you're brand new to the game as it takes, takes an absurd amount of time and if you're new it could definitely make it not as fun. But, that is what we're doing right here. And we've got a, we're currently grinding for the great one which is, it's like a special spawn that's incredibly rare and has special fur types for some of them. Others, it's just got incredibly large antlers. And so that's what we're grinding for. Oh, is there three deer here? I know I saw another one, right? I swear I saw three bucks there. I knew it! There he is! There was three! There was three! If you want to get all three legacies before the update, what should I do? Well, first off, I recommend looking up Pro XCK's guides. He has hotspot maps of every single animal. Or pretty much every single map. Recommend checking his guides out first. And then I would also recommend going first to your own maps to make sure you don't have any diamonds or rares for those species on your map. Use those hotspot guides that uh, Pro XCK has to, to find all your zones and uh, check them for diamonds and rares. Uh, after you've done all that, the next thing I would recommend doing is going into multiplayer and checking those zones and see if you can maybe snag one off a of multiplayer. Speaking of that, Today's video will be going live at 6 p.m. And it is going to be looking for some of those species before they get their, uh, before they get the true racks. It was meant to be like a video where I hunted for all of the species that are going to get true racks, but I ended up just hunting for one. And because it took longer than I thought it would to search every single zone they could possibly be at. I think it took two and a half hours just for one map, and I was like, uh, yeah, this is gonna be like 10 hours of recording if I go for every single one of these species on every map they can be on. So I decided to just leave it at one species, but it was a fun video, and we got something pretty cool. So, stay tuned for that tonight. No, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hey Megatron, how's it going? Hey TDV, how's it going? And hello TTK? Everybody, everybody popping in. Red Deer reset is heartbreaking. 
Yeah, it's unfortunate for anybody that had a uh, herd management grind set up for the red deer. But on the bright side, you're going to be getting some really good looking red deer, hopefully. As Jaxie said, it's for a fur type rework. So, hopefully they're going to look better enough to where it won't sting as bad. That's my hope, at least. Level 3 Whitetail on your Layton? Nice, 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 dude. Dude, what's up with all the trolls? We are getting screwed over with trolls today. We are getting trolled so hard. That's three. <laughs> Where are Pro XTK's maps? He's got them in his Discord as well as in videos. He has guide videos that showcase all of them. And then, like I said, he's got the... Uh, he's got the maps in his Discord as well. Can we go over to the bears? Uh, not right now, Charlie. I want to enjoy the first part of the stream, at least. I, I'd like to have fun for at least a couple hours on the stream before I torture myself with bears. I've not seen you get a great one on stream, so I must see it. I'm hoping we'll get one today, Jesse. Really hoping we will. I don't think there's anything over there. Yep, no shootables there. Nice, Espeon plays, that's awesome. How many kills am I at right now? Uh, 590. We're getting up there. Imagine how amazing it's going to be when you see that great one bear. I know, right? Man, it's going to be crazy. When we get that bear, I will probably have a reaction unlike any other. Will the zones with only stags be considered single stags? Because all my single stags are fours. If so, how do I fix it? Yeah, if there's no, if there's no, uh, pines there, those would be single stags. It's usually multiple single stags in one zone. Um, I do recommend trying to shoot those down to fours as much as you can. Like, uh, single stags are probably the most important ones to manage down. Because if you manage them, they're not going to move because you're not shooting them. And so you'll at least know where the singles are. Um, I always would recommend trying to make sure that the ones that are tied to herds are the ones that you try to make your main, like, uh, the final ones that you have as your shootables. Dude, another one that almost made it but didn't. What's going on? We're, we're in a dead streak. We're in a dead streak where all the ones that have a chance of making it are not making it. Feels bad. Carrie, thank you so much for the super sticker. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. So basically, great one is the highest. Um, in terms of level, yes, murder, yes. However, a super rare is technically more rare. And what a super rare is, is this a diamond rated animal, like your diamond pronghorn, but with a rare fur type on it as well. And so a diamond is approximately like between 100 and 150 kills to get one on average. And a rare is usually 300 to 500 kills to get one on average. If you're obviously on your own map, repeatedly killing the same species, that's the approximate spawn rates. And so to get a diamond with a rare fur type, that's technically more rare than a great one. Because usually great ones take like maybe a couple thousand kills to get. And a super rare, I think the average is over 20,000 kills to get a super rare. If we like... Uh, if we calculate like the odds based on how rare each of those is, super rares are technically the hardest thing to get. And then the ultimate achievement. The ultimate achievement in Call of the Wild, something that very few people have ever been able to accomplish, is getting a Great One Whitetail with a rare fur type. Which I believe only like less than 15 people have got one that have been confirmed to be legitimate. Less than 15 people have got ultra rares. At least ones that could be confirmed to be legit. 
There's obviously lots of like cheaters that have posted them as well, but there's only been like sub 15 confirmed to be legitimate, which is pretty wild when you think of it. Especially since throughout the entire community, there's easily been thousands of great ones shot. And so for only under 15 to be ultra rares, just goes to show how crazy rare they are. What times do Black Bear drink? Uh, they drink from 20 to 0. So they don't exactly have the best, uh, best drink time. You're going to be hunting in the dark. Which is always unfortunate. The Super One. Yeah, the community has dubbed them Ultra Rares, but hey, Super One works too. No, iBuy doesn't have any Ultra Rares. I know he doesn't because he would have been telling me if he did. <laughs> he prob You're probably thinking of his... Uh, his Moose Great Ones and Black Bear Great Ones with the uh, Fabled Furs. Fabled Furs are a little bit different than Ultra Rares. Fabled Furs are guaranteed to be on Moose and Black Bear if you end up getting a great one. So for the Moose, there's six different Fabled Furs, as well as four different rack variations. And so there's like 24 different combos you can get for Moose. None of them are ultra rares, though. I believe only the Whitetail is known to have true ultra rares. It's possible that Moose still have them. But uh, based on the wording of one of their updates, it, it sounds like they made it so it's only the fabled furs that can be on them. Not gonna lie, I saw that buck. And I uh, thought it was a great one for a second. Because of how the, uh, the background kind of like blended with the antlers a bit. Scared me for a second, man. I was like, oh gosh, already. And nope, <laughs> nothing there. Who all has an ultra rare? Um, the only one I can think of off the top of my head is LC. LC is known quite widely as a pretty hardcore grinder in the Discord community for Call of the Wild. He was the first person to get an albino. An albino great one. And in fact, he's the only person to ever get an albino one. Uh, the rest of the ultra rares that have been found were Fabled Piebald. Nice, Hunting Gods. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. How many Red Deer Zones on Tiawaroa? I don't remember because I actually wasn't counting them back when I hunted Red Deer. The only one that I've really paid super close attention to is Whitetail. And the only reason I didn't count for Red Deer was because it was when I first started herd management, so I didn't realize that, like, a lot of people would want to know the amount of zones. And so I, I didn't really keep track. And they've since moved Red Deer around a bunch, so I'd have to redo my Red Deer anyway if I wanted to find that out. Pretty sure I've seen a lot of people say it's, like, 55 to 65 or something. For red deer. But the thing is, like, uh, since there's a lot of solo males, whenever you kill the solo males out of a zone, that zone will delete and then they'll create a zone somewhere else. So your amount of zones fluctuates with red deer. How you not dead, bro? Now you're dead. Okay. Honestly. I didn't realize the 303 fires that fast. Maybe we can start using the 303 for some of these zones a little more. Yeah, let's do it. Let's use the 303 a little bit more. Kind of want to try it out again. This used to be my main grinding rifle. That's a big deer. Oh, that's a diamond for sure. I see the tines sticking out over the top. Is it a dime? Maybe not. Hold up. It actually might not be. I see a deer in the back there. Might not be a dime. But it might be at the same time. Those tines looked huge. Can't get his attention. That should get his attention. 
that doesn't, then I don't know what will. That definitely looks like a diamond. That's a big boy, too. He's being extra stubborn, though. How do you see the bleed rate on a blood track, even if I have the perk? I mean, you should be able to. If you've got level three of the uh, track knowledge, it should tell you. Should be no reason why I wouldn't. Got him, let's go. Finally! He finally popped out, and I just realized I forgot to pick one up. Oh well, we'll get it in a little bit. Really hope either Gemsbach or K-Buffalo get true racks soon. Me too, Johnny. That'd be really nice. I mean, we're seeing so many true racks come with this next update. I would not be surprised if we get it for other species uh, shortly after as well. 271. There we go. First diamond of the day. Took us 32 minutes. Wow. Crazy. Hey, Pancake. How's it going, man? Great one. I wish it was a great one. Still not bad, though. Uh, for anybody that's new to the stream, we don't tax most of our diamond whitetail since we're doing herd management. Herd management greatly increases the amount of diamonds you see. Uh, so we only tax the ones that are 275 or above. Or if it's like really high scoring for its specific rack variation. Or if it's super wonky. Hey, that one did not troll. I know, right? It's the first one that hasn't trolled today. Insanity. Absolute insanity. Oh, yeah, the 303 is actually really fast. Holy. Guys, we might start using the 303 more. I didn't realize that it fired this quickly. Uh, because yesterday was my day off, Shark. I don't stream on Wednesdays or Saturdays. Unless, of course, it's like... I get all my recording done for the day and I have extra time and I want to stream. And then sometimes we'll do like a Saturday stream or something, but most of the time I don't. Trey, thank you for the three months, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing amazing. Nice, Captain Star. That's awesome, dude. How do you herd manage? So essentially herd management is just loading your map up with low levels and then the game tries to compensate by spawning in diamonds. So what we've done with Whitetail is I've got between, right now we have 72 need zones, or 72 drink zones for our Whitetail. And about between 70 and 80% of those zones are all level one bucks. And that makes it so all of the remaining deer in our main zones much more commonly come back as level threes. And more level 3s means more chances at getting super rares. Which is why a lot of people that do a lot of great one grinding tend to use herd management because it gives you so many opportunities along the way for super rares. It may not increase the chances of your great one showing up, but it makes the grind a lot more tolerable because you know there's a lot more you're going to see. Is it possible to get diamonds earlier on, or do you have to get a certain number of kills before it spawns? It's totally possible, uh, Murder. The thing with diamonds is, if you're not doing herd management like I am, right? There's still a random spawn. So, there's a pretty good chance that you could, every once in a while, have a couple diamonds show up very close together. Or very early on in uh, shooting stuff. There's a, a good degree of randomness to it. I'd say best way to help you help you get more diamonds, uh, murder is if you if you find a herd, right? Let's say it's a herd of uh, a herd of whitetail, and it's got like five bucks in it. Prioritize shooting the two that look the biggest. That's what I recommend. Always prioritize like the ones that have either the highest levels or the biggest estimates or look the largest, like. And that will help you get diamonds a little bit faster without having to go through all of the time that it takes to set up a herd management grind. Just prioritizing the biggest ones out of the group uh, will get you them a little bit faster without making it like as fast as full on HM. 
Yeah, Ty, we're at 1,100 members. Absolute insanity. Yes, I did see Ladies Great One Moose. You know what's hilarious about that? I literally left the stream like 15, maybe 20 minutes before she got it. I had been watching her shoot some moose for like 45 minutes or so, and then like 15 minutes before she got it, I left the stream to uh, jump over to Brober's stream. And that's when she got it. And then everybody was telling Brober like, oh, lady got a great one. And I was like, wait, what? I was literally just there. And so I hopped back in and watched her take it down. Hey, that's a three. That one's definitely not going to troll. That's a big boy. That is a big boy right there. Yeah, John, she did. She got another moose. She got another moose great one. And it's the same moose great one that I've got. It's a uh, fabled ashen spider rack. She got it live on stream yesterday. Honestly, I feel like out of all the different antlers that you could get on a Ashen, I think that rack looks the best on it. It matches the colors very well. What level two deer do I leave? I don't really leave too many level twos. The only level twos I leave is maybe some of the fence racks. But I don't leave all of them. Just a few of them. Uh, we did a long time ago uh, VS Will, but then Expansive Worlds came out and said that it was okay to do and that they support it. So we went back to herd management because that was my one condition for coming back was if EW came out and said that it wasn't cheating, then I'd go back to doing it. And they did. They came out and said it live on stream that it's not cheating and that it's okay to do. So we returned to doing herd management. We redid it on our map. And now we're back to uh, smoking these diamonds all over. Thank you, Kaylin. I appreciate that. Can't wait for Australia. Me too, Dirtle. It's going to be amazing. Do I know when the new map's coming out? Unfortunately, I don't, Bradford. As of now, all we know is that it's probably a few weeks away. Jaxie said that it's not in for certification yet on the uh, last live stream. Which means it's at least a couple weeks out, because certification usually takes a week from what I remember. Alright, let's try out the uh, 303 on 2 deer again. Just want to make sure that we can reliably kill 2 every time. I think we can. It honestly fires quicker than I remember. This is going to be fun. It's going to be fun to switch it up a little bit. And then I think for zones where there's a lot of deer, like if we have to shoot 3 bucks in a zone, I'll use the AR. But uh, it's kind of nice to use a different gun for a bit. Switch things up. We're currently at 609 whitetail, by the way. Actually, 611. I think I forgot to add those last two. Oh, that'd be awesome, Buffle. That'd be awesome. Do I ignore spammers? I do, Patrick. I, I ignore stuff if it's not like actually a, what's it called? If it's not like an actual normal message, I will ignore it. Like if somebody's just spamming the same thing, I'll completely ignore it because that's not how you get people to answer you. So yes, I, I ignore spam. I ignore, I ignore the haters and stuff. Nobody wants to watch a stream where I just address like troublemakers the whole time, right? So I try to avoid that as much as I can. Holy. Oh my gosh, four of them down. Beautiful. 303 doing pretty good. How do I claim ducks because I shot a duck over a lake and couldn't find it? If you shoot a duck over water, it's going to float to the nearest shoreline uh, that's in the direction of you. 
So like, for example, if, if I shoot a duck that's like middle of the lake, it's going to float towards me. Kevin, thank you so much, dude. Welcome back. Holy. How many months is that? How many months is that? It's over 24. We know that. Welcome back, though, dude. Welcome back. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, that's right. We only got one here. The other one was running. How many kills does it take to get a great one moose? On average, 500 to 1500. Somewhere in that range. Uh, it's never going to be, like, guaranteed, though. So keep that in mind. No great one will ever be guaranteed to show up in that time frame. Uh, Dylan, thank you for this for the uh, membership as well, dude. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, the extra Discord channels, the scrapped uploads, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. Hitting a few dead zones, unfortunately. You're 26 months, Redux? Jeez, dude. Yeah, I know the rainbow badge pops up at 24. So if you see a rainbow badge, that is a long-time supporter in the chat. Yeah, 303 doing pretty good, man. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Nice, Valerie. Should you do a whitetail or a moose grind? I would say do whichever one of those you like hunting the most. Because the more fun you're having, the more enjoyable it's going to be throughout the whole grind, and the more likely that you'll be able to stick with it till you get the great one. So I would say go with whichever one of those two you like the most. Whichever one you have the most fun with is the one that you should go with. Oh, is that a one? Did we get a one back here? We might have. I know it's another two. I think it's a lower scoring fence rack, though. Holy. Thunder, thank you for the three months as well, dude. Welcome back. Welcome back. Dark beige and gold are rare for Gemsbok. Yes, indeed. That is the rares for the Gemsbok. Red Deer because of the money. Red Deer do give really good money. They are phenomenal for money. That could be interesting, Patrick. I don't think they use the same idea two times in a, or for two different great ones, though. Seems like for a lot of them, they try to make them differ from each other a little bit. Like, even though the fallow and the moose are going to be quite similar in terms of the style where it's like fur types, special fur types, and a few different rack variations. But like, uh, at least I, the main difference I noticed with them is that the fallow have a little bit a little bit more realistic looking fur types and antlers than the moose. The moose was like, I think their most mythical looking type of thing, right? Where all of them look way more insane than you could probably ever find in real life. And then with the fallow, they've still gave them really cool fur types and racks for the great one, but they look more like in line with what you could see in real life, where it's more believable. So I doubt they'll do two great ones that are similar because all of them seem to have been a little bit different. So I don't think we'll get a lion with like grass hanging off of it. How do your respawns come back so fast? I kill about 15 to 20 deer a run, but the respawns are really slow. Uh, do you go to the main menu after every run and reset the time if there's no deer in the uh, zone? Because I do that type of stuff quite a lot to make them show up quicker. And also, if you're sub 2,000 kills in your grind, there's a chance that some of them are going to different zones than what you're hunting. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Uh, because that's my channel, uh, Charlie. That's my second channel. It used to be called The Second Crow, but I changed it to Scarecrow Uncut. Because it's going to be like my... It's going to be my channel for playing other games that aren't 
Call of the Wild or fishing or other hunting games. It's going to be for like the other types of game. going to be a little bit, a little bit more of a PG-13 channel than my main one. Because as you guys know, my Call of the Wild channel, I try to keep it very family friendly. And uh, the second channel is going to be a little bit less family friendly, but nothing like too wild, I promise. Hey, Zachy, how's it going? You're first. Yeah, 100% first. Fir first one to the stream. Yep, definitely. You got it, man. You got it. And that's a dime. Diamond number two of the day. Diamonds are definitely popping up kind of slow today compared to other days. I don't even remember if we shot one over here, but we'll check. Yeah, Great One Cape Buffalo would be pretty insane. I'd love that. Yeah, we never shot anything. What do we got here? Three. Okay, so there was a buck. Guess he was just hiding. You hate to see it, man. <laughs> yeah, Ian, that'd be crazy. There is some great ones where, like, I really would be curious how they would make them work. Like, what would they do for a lion to make it stand out? What would they do for, like, a mountain lion to make it stand out? Bears? Not a clue, man. All depends on how I feel. <laughs> Hey, Archie, how's it going? Fitting how June 1st to be is my first day of the Rainbow Badge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> true, man, true. Welcome back, Archie. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing quite well, I tell ya. Oh, and also, Archie, just a heads up before you try to use uh, the command that we had made for you a while back. I had to remove it because a lot of newer viewers were very confused because there was no context at all to like the memes behind it. Uh, so we had to remove the uh, a lot of the old like meme commands that we had because a lot of people did not understand what the commands were for and got very confused when they would pop up. So we had to remove a few of the older commands. Yeah, I figured you would, Archie. I figured you'd understand. It was just a lot of uh, a, lo a lot confusing. That's not how you speak, but uh, it's it was very confusing for newer viewers who didn't uh, get where it came from. What's my biggest diamond? Well, every single diamond in the game is scored differently, so it's very difficult to say what my biggest one is of all time, like of every species. My biggest whitetail diamond, though, is a 291. However, they can't get that big anymore, sadly. This was back before they changed the score requirements for them. Yeah, just three here. Just three here, that's all I see for these deer. <laughs> you did use it a lot, Tragic. <laughs> yeah, true, Zevin, true. I'm, I'm just really curious what they'll do, because I mean... They shared, like, the concept art for the bear as well, and some of the things that they were considering for the bear is wild. Makes me wonder what they would think up for other species that don't have antlers. Can I do the great one chance so that a great one comes? I have an idea. Everybody that's a member in chat, drop the 10 and the fabled emote in chat like you see the uh, last few members doing. Drop the 10 fabled into the chat. To get us that 10 fabled spawn. This is this is how we do it. This is how we get it. Do 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 nothing there. Okay. Unfortunate. Next run though. Next run. Oh yeah. That's what we like to see. Oh, thought that was bigger. Chat lagged my stream help. Oh no, rest in pieces, Seven. Rest in 
Rest in peace, man. Anyone else having problems with road deer? They flee in my single player map. I mean, what do you mean by flee? How far away are you when they when they flee? Drippy, thank you for the super chat. Ten fabled. Also, if I only had hundred subs on my channel, scared to make all the wild content because I make sports edits. Any advice? Make a second channel for that, Drippy. I I don't recommend like trying to make such a drastic change in content. Nine times out of ten, it does not go well if you just dr drastically change what content you're making. So I would recommend making a second channel for other stuff and promoting it on your main. Oh! Full on wipe out. Oh, that was brutal. That was brutal. Yikes, dude. That thing did a, a full on belly flop. Yeah, Archie, we got 1K plus members now. Thanks to some very, uh, very generous, generous people doing lots of gifteds the last couple weeks. Zach and Pike and T2 and uh, countless others have been giving tons of gifted memberships. Trying to get us up to as many emote slots as we could. And uh, so, yeah, we've got so many emotes now. It's just, it's inc it's insane. Like, I, I cannot even begin to, like, go into how thankful I am for it. It's been wild. It's been a very wild time. All righty. Boom. Oh, the road deer don't flee. Once they get into fleeing mode, they freeze. Uh, I haven't really hunted roe deer in a long time, but uh, there's a lot of species that freeze occasionally, so it does not surprise me. One second, guys. All right, had to talk to my wife for a second. Holy buckaroos. Uh, Matthew, thank you for the four months, dude. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good. How's your baby doing? She's doing really good, Redux. She uh, just turned two years old. Uh, like two weeks ago. A little bit more than two weeks ago. It's crazy. Like, she's just, she's just running around everywhere. Able to say, like, half sentences and some full sentences now. It's, it's insane. They grow up too fast. They really do. <laughs> Am I going to grind for the fallow deer great one? For sure, Grayson, for sure. Oh, no worries, Archie. No worries. Totally understandable, dude. Luckily, like, your streaks and stuff will stay. So even if you have to cancel for a little bit, uh, it'll, still, it'll still keep all of your, uh, your membership streaks and badges and stuff. Yeah, Archie, she's already two. It's crazy. It is insane. They grow up way too fast, man. I'm telling you. How many zones should I have for Whitetail on Layton? Uh, between 65 and 75 on average. What made me use the 303? I realized that it's got a really quick uh, maneuvering bolt. So I'm able to still kill two in his own. 
And I wanted to switch it up a little bit, and this seems to be one of the quicker cycling uh, bolt action rifles. So we've been using it, and it's actually been working out really good. Not to mention, it's got a little more power than the 308 even. It's been a fun little switch up. How do you have so much money is that you grind for hours? Yes, Regis. I have 5,500 hours in the game. Actually, probably 5,600 at this point. And uh, most of that is spent grinding. I've done a lot of red deer grinding in the past, and red deer give an absurd amount of money per kill. Same with lots and lots of bear grinds and stuff like that, and that was an awful shot. Unfortunate, man. We screwed him up. Oh, well, it happens. Do you think the bear should be more aggressive like the moose? Uh, it depends on the species. I don't think black bear should be very aggressive because in real life they're not known to be super aggressive. They're really only aggressive in specific scenarios. <laughs> true, Johnny, true. You're not wrong there. Where's the blood? It ran this way, right? There it is. Alright, let's track her down. This is going to take a little bit. It is what it is, though. What happens when you don't take your time with your shots? To be fair, we could have shot between the lung, though. If we shot in between the lungs and above the heart, then there's not really too much we could have done. That's just unlucky. But we gotta get it in case it's a diamond, I gotta know. Oh yeah, Redux. Yeah, in Classic, they're a little bit more aggressive, I feel. Like, anytime you sneak up on one and then it notices you, they're like, Hey, I see a threat. Let's take him down. Ooh, would have been a dime. Would have been a dime. Feels bad. It happens, though. They should add younger versions of certain species. There's been a lot of people that have wanted to see something like that. Pretty sure they said they'd never do it just because they wouldn't want people shooting them. Ooh, rip, Jtron. So one thing you can do is go over here. Don't claim anything else if you just quick harvested a diamond. If you accidentally click through a diamond, go into your cache, go to trophy manager, and then click Taxidermize right here. Oh. Oh, that's a big boy. That's a three. That's a big three there. Boom. There we go. <laughs> yeah, tragic. It's just faster than saying diamond. Dime. 261. That's a beast there. Boom. Let's go. We're finally getting the diamonds to show up. Uh, we started pretty slow today, and now they're finally uh, jumping back in full force. My favorite food? I like pizza the most just because there's so much you can do with it. How do I have so many diamond whitetail spawning? It's from a grinding method called herd management, uh, trash athlete. It's essentially where you only kill the bigger deer. I do not kill any level ones that I get in... Uh, get to spawn in Unless they spawn in my main nine zones, so essentially what I've done is I have nine zones that I grind and every other zone like all 63 other zones on my map. I've loaded up with level ones It takes tons of time to get that to work to that point, but 
essentially just makes the game see how many low levels are on the map and it tries to compensate with level threes. So we end up getting lots and lots of diamonds along the grind. I've got full guides on how to do it on the channel. If you uh, go into the playlists and find the herd management guides playlist, it's got um, a guide for whitetail and red deer. And I believe a very basic one for black bear as well. Do I like pineapple on pizza? Depends on what, uh, what the other toppings are. I will always answer it that way. It depends on what other toppings are on the pizza, right? Like, you can't just throw pineapple with everything, right? It's got to have the perfect combination of other toppings to make it work. It was my first diamond, but I was new to the game and whiffed the shot. Ooh, feels bad, man. Yeah, 274.6 whitetail is very big. That's uh, on the high end of what they can score. So yeah, that is like, that's pretty good. That, that's a big one. Gotcha, Summit, gotcha. What deer am I going to hunt most on Australia? Uh, probably, probably either the Sambar or Rusa. I like both of them a lot. They've always been favorites of mine in the Hunter Classic. So I, I could really see myself hunting them a ton when Australia releases. No, Archie's not a new mod. Archie is one of the OG moderators. But uh, hasn't been able to drop by as often recently because of IRL stuff, you know? You know, life comes first. Life always comes first. Six hundred and forty deer down. Jeez, we've killed like ninety, maybe a hundred deer in this last hour. When did what did we start at? You guys remember what kill count we started at? Like the first the first number I mentioned when I was asked what we were at. We've killed at least 100 already. I think. At least 90. For sure 90. For sure 90. Oh, that's a 245. That's a thick one. You remember me saying 567? Okay, and at that point, I think I had killed like probably 25. So, yeah. We probably have killed like 88 deer. That ain't too bad. I'd say that was probably 80 in the first hour, and then the rest were probably the next four minutes or so. Smoked him. Hey, Huntress, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. What do I do if I have only- if I have a doe only zone in a good spot? I would still recommend leaving it. You never know what's going to happen if you shoot that doe. If you shoot a solo doe, she has to go somewhere, and it's likely that she'll merge with another herd. Or she could merge with some of your respawns and make a new herd. So I don't recommend shooting her. I would, unfortunately, just cut your losses and find a new zone that, uh, that actually has bucks in it. Sadly, there's not really too much you can do with the solo does without risking, like, screwing up other herds. Oh, my. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. That's a three? <laughs> How is that thing a three? 241 upper estimate. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's disgusting, bro. Oh, 
Holy. <laughs> That's wild. That is wild. And it's suffering, I know, right? That thing, it's it's better off dead. And not floating. Get back here. What is that thing? That's what I'm saying. What is it? What are you? Not you, but the other one. Oh no. Oh gosh. What did they do to you? That's a weird deer. 238! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, 238 scoring level 3. Man, you don't see those too often. Yeah, definitely don't see that too often. Wow. That is a that that is a wonk right there. Super wonky. I would tax it, but I think I've got one that looks the same. I think I already taxed one that looks identical to him. And I've got one that scores like 10 points lower too, so we're not going to tax him, but that is a wild deer. Killed one worse than that on Mississippi. Sounds about right. Hey, Flinger, do people still confuse you for that scarecrow guy? <laughs> uh, sometimes, Archie, sometimes. I, I sometimes get those comments of like, you guys sound the same. Not as often nowadays, though. I think nowadays that I've changed microphones and changed like content style and stuff, I don't get compared to Flinter as often as I used to. I think part of the reason that we got confused a lot back in the day was because I, I talked a lot quieter at my old apartment. I talked a lot quieter at my old apartment and it made us sound more similar. And now that I've moved into a place where I don't really have like neighbors that are like right there that I have to be quiet for, um, I can talk more normal. So now I don't get compared as much. Thank you, Redux. I'm glad. I'm glad you noticed for sure. Like, I uh, I spent quite a bit of time trying to like find the perfect microphone that worked for me and tweak it to fit my voice well. I like this microphone. I mean, there's small things I don't like about it, but for the most part, it's pretty good. Who is Scarecrow? Who's Printer? I don't know. I don't know who those people are. You hunt here often? <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. That was, that was some funny times, man. What mic is it? It's a Shure MV7. Like, uh, S-H-U-R-E is the, the name of the company, Shure. And it's the MV7 model. Really good microphone for, uh, for being a USB mic. It's not gonna, like... Well, I mean, it's a combination USB and XLR mic. I do USB just because I haven't quite got to the point of understanding how to set up a full mixer and with XLR cables and stuff like I haven't quite got there but one of these days it, it's a good mic though really good oh don't you float away uh yeah I've played with Didi I've done one video with him. Huntress, thank you for the 26 months. Holy. That's a lot of months as a member. Jeez. Thank you so much, Huntress. 26 months of support. Crazy. Is this most people I've had in a stream? No, we've had quite a bit more on release days for new maps and new games. I think the most we ever had was like maybe 1,000 
400 or 1,500 for the Way of the Hunter first day of early access. Way of the Hunter was a pretty big, a pretty big thing in the community when it first released. Hey, Moof, how's it going? Have I played with Lady? Yes, I did a video with her recently, actually. And then we've done a few streams uh, a couple years ago as well. Definitely plan to do some more stuff with Lady in the future. Probably going to do some stuff when the new map releases. Later, Mr. Football Boy. Boom. If you're streaming on the map drop, I'll 100% drop in at least for a bit. Oh, I will be for sure. For sure. Whenever we get access to the new map, you guys can guarantee I'll be making videos and streams on it. We're going to be doing tons of Australia content. How long on average does it take for a, or does a great one take to get? Depends on the species. For whitetail, it's roughly 1,000 to 2,000. For red deer, it's two to 3,000. Bears are two to 3,000. Moose is 500 to 1,500. So it varies quite a bit. Have you played with this very, very popular guy called Brobra or known as, or known as Nerd? Oh yeah. Uh, a couple, couple, a couple things with the with the Brober nerd for sure. We, we've done, we've hang, we've done, hung out with him a little bit. I tell you what. Okay, the only thing I don't like about using the Argus with the 303 is the reticle seems to bounce to the left. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but it seems like the reticle bounces to the left when you. Uh, Rack the bolt to get another round in. That's what I noticed, though. Not a fan of that. Later, shark. Like, watch the reticle. Look at that. It does a little twitch. It twitches to the left a little bit after it finishes reloading the, uh, the next round in. Not sure I like that. I might use the Hyperion again on here. Hey, Clay Drew, how's it going? All right, let's go to the Hyperion. We'll try this scope out for a bit, see if it works a little better. Yep, it do a little twitch. Yeah, it does. I don't know if I like that. It throws me off. Yes, Dalton, still, still going for it off and on. That's awesome to hear, uh, Silver Phoenix. That's awesome to hear. All right, here we go. I mean, that does a little wiggle too, but it's less noticeable. Yeah, I think we're going to stick with this. I do believe we're going to stick with the 303. Or not 303, the Hyperion. Hyperion for the 303. It's Brobra. How's it going, Brobra? We were just talking about you. <laughs> Hilarious, B. Jones. How long will the stream be? Uh, probably four to six hours. Somewhere in that range. Oh, this is much better. Yeah, the Hyperion's working great for this uh, rifle. Back in my day, the streams lasted for two hours, shaking my head. I know, right? I used to only stream two hours, and then I got into Great One grinding heavily. And the streams were never the same. In many ways. 
How many diamonds have I got today? I believe five. I think like five, if I'm not mistaken. How many kills am I into the grind? 660. We're making pretty good progress today. Uh, yes, CC, I have. I've done a couple of them with him. What's my favorite great one? Of the ones currently released, it's definitely the moose. With whitetail being my second favorite. But I, I honestly have more fun hunting the whitetail, so I pretty much just hunt them. But with the uh, fallow deer coming to the game, I think fallow deer is going to be my favorite once it releases. No, I don't think it was necessarily that seagull. I think Way of the Hunter is a really good game. However, it's a very young game. The game's barely been out for like a year. In fact, it's, it hasn't even been a full year yet, I don't think. The game just doesn't have enough content to attract a large audience yet. That's the only problem with Way of the Hunter. It's a really good game. It just needs more content. Once it gets more content, it will get more people playing it for sure. It's hard to say when that'll be. I mean, they're supposed to release a map six months after the last one. So I'd say in four months or so, we should get another map. Uh, that'll definitely bring an influx of players. And then if they make some other great changes and additions to the game with it, uh, then it should start to slowly grow. I would say a couple years from now, it'll probably be a much more popular game. Hard to say by how much, but I'd say it'll definitely be more popular. Need some cool non-typical mule deer in Call of the Wild? For sure, Redux. Honestly. If Way of the Hunter really wants to, like, j just get ahead of the game... They should release non-typicals before Call of the Wild does. Like, that would be pretty huge for them. If they release non-typicals, that'll bring a lot of grinders to the game that want those uh, crazy trophies like that. If Way of the Hunter wants to attract a larger audience, non-typicals might be the way to do it. Especially if they give you a very advanced generation system for the non-tips. But I mean, yeah, if, if Call of the Wild adds in non-tips before Way of the Hunter, uh, it'll definitely probably be the end for Way of the Hunter for a while. I really do feel that whoever gets non-tips first is going to get a giant boost in player count. Especially with how highly requested that feature is. Oof. Terrible shooting. It is what it is. What are non-typicals? Um, any buck that has abnormal points. So, like, for example, the Great One Whitetail, those antlers are non-typical antlers. Because the, uh, the tines don't grow like they're supposed to, right? They come off in weird directions. They have shapes that normal tines will not. Uh, for example, like, some of the beams on the Great One Whitetail are, like, bladed. There's also some where they've got drop tines, which are a non-typical tine. Some of them have, like, excessive mass that is just not normal, like the short rack Great One Whitetail. Tines coming off the sides of other tines would also qualify as, like, abnormal tines. How do you know if it's a true rex? Anything that has true rex will have a true score tab on the claim screen. So that's how you can tell if it's a true rex animal. If you can click the true score tab and see like a close up breakdown of all the different measurements, that means that it's got true rex on it. Once we find this white tail, I'll show you. 
Even small and non-typicals are cool, for sure, for sure. I'd love to see uh, something like that in Call of the Wild. I like it if like every level could get a non-tip. Oof. Okay, so we just hit a little bit too high on the neck. Couldn't quite make it in. Would have been a dime though. So that'd be twenty-five ninety. Holy! Is there a blacktail great one? Sadly, no. I would love a blacktail great one. I think it would look insane. But yeah, there is none. Maybe one of these days, though. They're always uh, adding new great ones. Do I know what happened to Ultimate Hunting? Heard about it once and then never saw or heard anything else about it. Uh, they're still developing it. They were supposed to release last year and then it got pushed back to the beginning of this year. And now, based on what the devs had said, it sounds like it's not coming out this year, and if it does, it'll be very late in the year. It seems they're currently working on a demo for the game to get a playable demo out, but it's looking like the release of Ultimate Hunting will not be for at least another six or seven months, unfortunately. Which sucks. They honestly should not have announced the game as early as they did. They should have waited till they had more development into it. That way they could have guaranteed a concrete release date. I don't necessarily think so, Tragic. I think... I think the game will be good. I just think they announced it too early. But I think it will be a good game, you know? They're taking their time to make sure that it's good from what I've seen. Now, whether they'll follow through is another story. Hard to say if they'll follow through, but I hope they do. Um, because if they give us everything that they've been showing, should be a pretty decent hunting game at the minimum. I thought True Rex gave us non-typicals? No, non-typicals are very different. True Rex just randomly generates the, uh, positions of the antlers. Which makes it so you get different sizes of tip-to-tip -tip spread, inner spread, uh, some antlers are, like, twisted upwards, but that's not non-typical. Because it's not like the actual tines growing abnormally. Oh, that's a big three. I thought that was a great one again because he had his uh, head back. Oh, 1149 or 59. Ooh, smoked him. That guy had a 275 upper estimate. Could it be a 275? That'd be kind of wild. I doubt it is if that's the high estimate, but yeah, probably not. Oh, 266. Yeah, that guy's smaller than I thought. He still is a good buck, though. It's a solid dime. Solid diamond. What are legacy racks? Anything that doesn't have true racks added on to it yet. Also, what I was talking about, this is the true score. If, this, if it has true score, that means that it's got true racks. So we can see, like, these antlers are a little bit different. They've got different measurements on each side. And if we go to inspect, you can see that they're not even. One antler is a little bit smaller than the other one. Rest in pieces, Summit. How rare is an albino wildebeest? Very rare. Nate, I think I've only ever killed one of them. They're quite rare. Why do I use kilos? Because it's what the Hunter Classic was designed in, and I am a classic player. I started out by playing the Hunter Classic, played it for years before Call of the Wild was released, and so I just kept the, uh, I just kept it to metric system as a lot of the weights and stuff are the same in Call of the Wild as they were in Classic. Like, they carried over a lot of weights for the animals. Like, I believe 100 kgs is max weight for Whitetail in Classic as well. Like, they kept a lot of things very similar. And so it's just the easiest way to transition into a brand new game for me. Not to mention, the game was designed with the metric system. So the numbers are a lot more even when you use metric in the game. If you use Imperial, 
it makes the numbers really weird. Like, I think like 164 yards zero distance instead of 150 meters. It's just, it wasn't designed with the Imperial system, so it, the numbers are weird. Come on. Come on. We'll do that. We'll do that. Oh gosh, stop zigzagging, man. I never predict these deer. Can never do it. Can never predict them. Well, we got two of them at least. That one was barely wounded. I would recommend it, Travis, for sure. Because if you don't get them before the update, you will never be able to get those legacy horns. Because they'll be gone forever. So I recommend trying to get them if you haven't. Uh, if nothing else, you know, just do a sweep over your maps and check for those species. I recommend following ProXCK's hotspot maps in order to uh, find them. Why do I always recommend Red Deer for money? Because they give you the most money for the amount of that species you can find. Red Deer are the most plentiful animal in the game if you go to Tiabaroa. And they give like upwards of 1500 cash per stag. And if you can kill like 10 Red Deer at one lake before they all flee, like, you know, that's 15k. That's like 12 to 15k every time you go to a lake on Tiabaroa and shoot some Red Deer. It's just, it's just kind of insane how much they give you. Did we get them both? I think the first shot was bad. At least 950 per stag. Exactly. Even the, uh, even the females give you a lot of money. Even female red deer give a ton. What map am I in? We're currently in Leighton Lake District. Good old Leighton Lakes, man. Love this map. Might just shoot every red deer I see since they're getting a pop reset. Yeah, might as well, Johnny. Might as well. Maybe if you shoot every red deer, you'll get a like a lucky great one to spawn. You never know. The dimes give like 1,600. Yeah, red deer gives so much. It's amazing. And when you contrast this with whitetail, they give 821 for a diamond. <laughs> so yeah, red deer give almost double. It's pretty insane. They're, they're just so good for money. Lions are also good, but you can't kill as many of them. No more Red Deer Great Ones. I know, you do have a lot of those. You do have a lot of Great One Red Deer, Johnny. That's a strange looking deer. He's got one really wonky antler. Ugh, feels bad, Clager. Feels bad, man. You'll get it eventually. You'll definitely get it eventually. Maybe this uh, reset is what you need to get it, right? You know, always look on the bright side of things. What's the biggest moose I've ever shot? Uh, it was like a 309 or 307. They can't get that big anymore, though. This was back before they changed the scoring on them. On the current scoring system for Moose, I think my best is a 301.4 or something? Hello! Oh yeah, true, Clager, true. Gotta go for those fallow. Have I ever played The Walking Dead? Yes, I think I played the first three games. 
I think I played the first three games of the series. I don't think I played the last one. How many was there? Was there just three or was there four different Walking Dead games from Telltale? I know I played all except the last one. <laughs> we actually allow more caps nowadays, Archie. We actually allow capital letters more. The only time that we'll uh, delete caps messages is if it's like a full sentence of like 15 or 20 words. Or if they're like repeatedly doing it. Uh, Hunter's Boy, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. Really appreciate the support. Do only deer have true rex? Um, deer have true rex? And then... Anything that has horns will probably eventually get it. It's mainly like antlered and horned species. They will get a, a form of true rex at one point or another. Back in my day. <laughs> yeah, Archie. We decided that as the channel grew, we needed to loosen up some of the rules because it was just getting impossible to enforce some of them. Hey, Zach, how's it going, man? Welcome back. I hope you're having a good day. You made it just in time to see the great one not show up. But you know what? Maybe with you being here now, we'll get the great one to show up. We're approaching 700 kills since the last one, so... Really? All right, one more for good measure. Take that. Uh, Rocky Mountain Elk do have true Rex. Yes. If there is this true score tab at the top, then it has true Rex on it already. Oh, that's right. We wounded this one. I gotta say, where did it go? That's right. We messed our shot up. Of course we did. Of course we did. Oh, there was one we missed as well. So... Okay. There's more deer here than I thought. I thought there was only one buck, but there was two. Love it when old crow misses it. Why am I using the 303? Because uh, we learned you can get two deer down before they spook with it. And so I'm just using it to get something different, right? Because we've used the 308 like the whole grind. 303 actually is not bad. You can get two shots off before they spook. Which is all I really need. Hey now. You're not a rock star. Calm down. Bro. Will you go down already? <laughs> Holy. Hey, Kingfisher, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Good to see you. You made it just in time to watch my terrible aim. I think he's at more than me, uh, Clay Drew, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure he's at more than me. Yeah, exactly, Zach. Yeah, you got it. That is indeed how they do it. Anything that you have in your lodge will not change when True Rex hits for these species. It'll only be like future ones. How many kills are am I on currently? 680. For real, Archie. This deer is like, nah, man. I'm I'm not I'm not going down like this. You kidding me? Gotcha, awesome, A-Rod. Yeah, in that case, I played three of them. Duck aim turned into deer aim there for a second. You're not wrong. You're not wrong there. Is 
Did I see a turkey? Hold, hold up. Yeah, there's turkeys right there. Or No, it's rabbits. <laughs> the rabbits are here to play. Holy. The rabbits are just chilling there. Shoot the rabbits. <laughs> nah, they spooked off when I killed the deer. There's no way I would have been able to get them both. Yeah, I did, uh, Eowyn. I was there when she took it down. I was in the chat when she took down that Great One Moose. It's kind of funny that she got the same uh, combination that I got for my first fur type on the uh on the moose when they when they made them guaranteed we've got pretty much the same exact moose actually it is literally the same exact moose same combination same combination but different map there we go Have an albino Euro bison, will it become legacy? No, it won't. That's not how it works. If it will if you killed it with its legacy horns. Or wait, no. Okay, that, that was a confusing question. Never mind. I, I get what you're saying now. Yes, anything that's not true Rex is considered legacy. If you've already killed one and it's in your lodge, it will not change to the true Rex. It'll stay the same. And so yes, it will be considered legacy. Legacy horns and antlers are just anything that doesn't have true racks on it currently. Technically, like Gemsbok, they have legacy horns because they don't have true racks yet. What map did she get it on? Uh, she got it on Medved. And for my Fabled Ash, and I got it on Revon Thule. I remember when bunnies on hers were bugged, and you slaughtered the poor things. Oh, that was fun times. That was some fun times. I remember that very clearly. That was some fun times. Not so fun for the bunnies, but fun for me. What is a two-rack? I have no idea what that means, Florian. I have no clue what you mean by that. Alright, let's pop them and drop them. Yeah, Medved's pretty good now. It's really good now, A-Rod. It used to be bad, but then they made some changes to it, and it's actually a really good map now. Oh, true racks. Yeah, true racks means true random antler configuration system. It's just like randomized antlers, like what we see on the whitetail. Where you get a lot of them that look very similar, but have differences, you know? It's just a randomization system. How this dude alive? Probably cause Scarecrow can't aim, but that's beside the point. Those shots should have killed him faster. I must have hit vertebrate twice or something. <laughs> yeah, Medved's amazing nowadays, Archie. After they did the redistribution, it's such a good map now. And they added the uh, Capricali and the Grey Wolf to Medved, which really transformed the map. And it's got the Moose Great one now, so... Medved's not the same map it used to be, that's for sure. Thank you, Jonathan. I appreciate that, dude. Ah, 
Uh, maybe Thunder. I don't think I'll do it every hour, but maybe every stream. It all depends on which rifles I can quickly grind with. 7mm will not be a, a rifle I grind with, though. I've tried the 7mm. It doesn't fire fast enough. Like, you can't ready your second shot quick enough to actually uh, get two deer down in a zone. With the 303, it readies up quick enough to where you can. So if some of the other bolt actions ready up very quickly, then we probably will use them. There we go, two bucks there. He better die now. I'd be surprised if he doesn't from that. Uh, they already did a redistribution to Hirschfelden as well, Archie. They redistributed the uh, populations on Hirsch. So the animals are in different places than they used to be. And they changed the need zone times. And they also added pheasants. So Hirsch is actually a little bit better than it used to be as well. I now consider Mississippi to be probably the worst map in the game. Mississippi and Parquet, in my opinion, are worse than Hirsch now. Yeah, you did miss a lot, Archie. You did. They have, uh, they've really improved the game a lot over the last year or so. Um. Most of the improvements have been the last, like, seven months. Maybe eight months. Last seven or eight months, they've really added a lot of stuff that's improved the game. They've changed a lot of existing things for the better. It's been pretty good. Now, in my opinion, it is, Johnny. Like, I, I've been enjoying Hirsch a lot nowadays. But that's just me. I honestly think Pheasants and the redistribution were huge for Hirschfelden. Noah, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Yeah, yeah, Johnny will defend Parquet with his life. He loves Parquet. I'm not a big fan of it, though. Parquet just doesn't do anything for me. Could partially be just because I don't like the layout and look of the map. Not a fan of how uh, Parquet looks. Not a fan of all the brush. Like, Hirschfelden's brushy too, but now a lot of the animals feed like out in the open in the fields. Even more than they did previously, so it's a fun map to just run around. Uh, for feed zones and resting zones. Oh, I'm not really talking about grinding, Johnny. I'm talking about as a map, like, as a whole. For, like, all purposes. Like, Hirschfelden's got to be one of my favorite, like, uh, multiplayer hopping maps now. And New England's really good for multiplayer hopping as well, and it's great for small game hunting. Which is why I don't rank it. Which is why I don't rank those maps below Parquet. Parquet, I just, I just overall don't really like the map that much. Boom. Take that. Hey, now. Excuse me? Was that a spine shot, sir? Looks like it was. Uh, Noah, thank you for the super chat, dude, once again. Can't believe Lady got another great one. I know, same. She's had really good moose luck. Definitely better than my moose luck for the most part. I mean, I definitely got one of the most crazy looking great one moose so in that way i had really good luck but in terms of kill counts my moose luck was rough and just the fact that my moose have stopped behaving properly 
Like, all my moose respawns are so broken. My moose are just a mess. On both Rev and Medved. Oh, no worries, Archie. No worries. Hey, it happens, man, you know? When you do HM, do you also leave the low-level twos that are just silvers as well? Or do I shoot them as well? I shoot them. You don't want to leave a lot of small twos because they actually score considerably higher than the ones do. If you have a fence rack level two, it scores usually like 150s, maybe 160s at the most. But if you have a fence rack level one, it scores like 130s. So it's a pretty substantial score difference. So I, don't, I try not to leave too many of the fence rack twos. If... It's the last one I need to shoot down in a zone. Sometimes I'll leave it. I think I've probably left maybe 20 fence rack twos throughout my map. But that's versus, you know, probably over a hundred ones. So yeah, I wouldn't leave a ton of them. Because they don't drive your score down as much. Right in. Thank you for actually hold on. I gotta do the membership first. Logan, thank you so much for the membership, dude. Welcome back. And, uh, Brayden, thank you for the super chat. Man, love your content. My wife is always asking me why in the world I watch you instead of just play the game. Need that great one to show? Oh, for sure, man. For sure. Hey, I, I know how it is, though, right? It's, it's, it's being there. It's being there when it happens. Uh, getting to, like, uh, chat with the creators that play the games that you play, you know? It, it's like you share similar interests. And you get to see like how somebody else does it versus how you may do it. It's it, it's fun sitting in streams. I do it whenever I can as well, so oh, I get it, man. Yes, it's, oh my gosh. But if somebody has never watched live streams before, they're probably not going to understand it at all. So I can see that. I can see that for sure. All right, final lake of the run. On to New England for the next moose grind. Oh, gosh. Ugh, I'd rather grind Leighton for moose before New England. Will the fur update change the ones in the lodges? Yes, it will. Fur-related stuff usually changes everything, even stuff that's in the lodge. Ooh. Jeez, Clayju. Oh, I gotta read Johnny's message. If the gators are easier after the update, I might go back. Yeah, same. Same. I am interested to see how the gators are going to behave with the changes. Because it sounds like they're getting some pretty substantial behavioral changes. Alright, guys. That's 700 kills. Which means we've killed probably like 170 of them today. That's crazy, man. Let me actually look. Um, okay, so before I started grinding today, I was at 541. But I shot like nine deer for a video. So we started at like 550 and we're at 700 now. So we've killed 150, actually. We've killed 150. Which is not too bad. I'll take it. Hey, Jebba, how's it going? How you been? I bet, Raid. Yeah, New England's a... It's a rough map to grind. There's just so much water to cover. It's kind of insane. I don't know why they decided to make it so a lot of the species can literally be across the whole map. It makes it impossible to find all your zones. That combined with all the brush... It's not a not a fun map to grind for a lot of species. It's a pretty map though. I'll give it that. It's beautiful. Man, no vitals on those two shots. Unfortunate, man. Unfortunate. T 
Two more bucks there. Excuse me. I clicked and it didn't shoot. The one downside of running a bolt action. Sometimes it just doesn't shoot when you click. Uh-oh, I hit something else. I accidentally hit a doe. Back out, quick. Do I have a diamond raccoon dog? Uh, technically, yes, but I messed it up. So, unfortunate. <laughs> Real unfortunate. Please tell me I didn't kill that doe. I saw a different deer flinch, though. I'm just hoping I didn't hit vitals and that it's still alive. Oh, thank God we're alive still. She's still alive. We're good. She's still alive. All right. That was scary. Two nineteen. What are my thoughts on Truex for playing Bison? Excited for it. Really excited for it. What's my favorite food? Ah, pizza is my favorite food. There's just something about it, you know. You can make pizza into whatever you want, really. There's so many different kinds of pizzas, so many toppings, and I mean, there's even like dessert pizzas, so you can really make a pizza whatever you want. There's breakfast pizzas. So much variety with the pizzas. Hey, that's a thick boy. That's a thick buck right there. Um, classic, not so much, Archie. Tarkov, when the game isn't overrun by cheaters, yes, I, I do like to go back to Tarkov when I can, but the game is so cheater-filled now that it's really tough to play. It's tough to enjoy Tarkov, unless it's a brand new update. 273. So I, I really only do Tarkov whenever there's new updates. Because sadly, the cheaters have just ruined the game for me. That's our diamond right there. Beautiful. Yeah, it's unfortunate, Archie. It's really unfortunate. What rifle am I shooting it with? I'm shooting them with the 303. The 303 bolt action. It is the rifle that comes with Tiaboroa. When you buy the Tiawaroa map, you get access to the 303. No vitals on him, huh? I think it's probably because he moved last second. Probably threw things off. How many diamond whitetail do I have? Oh gosh, I couldn't even. I'll have to. Get, I'll have to look real quickly. I have nine hundred and fifty-ish, around nine hundred and fifty diamond whitetail, over the course of thirty-four thousand six hundred kills. So yeah, th that's why we don't tax them all, um, honey bun lover. That is why we don't tax all of our diamonds. I don't really have a need to at this point. All I really care about is super rares, great ones, and super wonky or high scoring diamonds. For white tail at least. Smoked him. All right, later, Archie. Thank you for dropping by. Oh, no, Johnny. 
That's wild. What a crazy puppy. Do you have more whitetail than red deer diamonds? I believe so, yeah. Let me look. Yeah, I do. I have 848 red deer diamonds and I have 944 whitetail. Uh, to be fair though, I hunt whitetail a lot more nowadays, so... It was bound to happen. They were bound to take over red deer. Red deer used to be our most diamonds, but whitetail have now took over. What sandwich condiment is my favorite? Oh, mayonnaise, dude. Mayonnaise for the win. I don't even have to think about that one. Mayonnaise. I put mayo on, like, every sandwich. Literally every sandwich I have. And then I'd say for sandwiches, mustard is, like, just some regular, like, uh, regular yellow mustard is probably my my second, like, go-to. Like, uh, mayonnaise and mustard on a roast beef sandwich. Oof. Oh, my gosh. It's just too good. Like, if you're having a roast beef sandwich without the mustard, you're missing out. <laughs> yeah, Merle. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Yeah, like you can't go wrong with like uh, some mayonnaise, some mustard, and stuff like that on a roast beef sandwich with uh, either some pepper jack or American cheese, maybe some habanero cha jack if you want to get a little spicy. A little bit of lettuce, a few... Um, Sweet heat pickles on there. If you guys haven't had like sweet heat pickles, oh my gosh, they're so good. It's like a bread and butter pickle, but with some spice to it. It's a spicy bread and butter pickle, essentially. Goes great on a roast beef sandwich. Oh, it's always one bucket this zone that we mess up. Always one of them here. Holy bebop. You like sandwiches with no bread, cheese, meats, or condiments? So you like salad, in other words. You just want salad with pickles, is what you're saying. <laughs> you just want a pickle salad. Okay, okay, I get you. I get you. You know, gotta do what you gotta do, right? It is what it is. Everybody likes uh, different, different stuff for their sandwiches, or I should say their salads. In your case, it sounds. <laughs> oh my gosh! Tragic. <laughs> oh, I've never heard of that, uh, Zach. I will have to give it a try sometime. To be fair, like, I haven't tried a lot of, like, uh, sauces and stuff like that for sandwiches. I, I've just tried pretty basic stuff for the most part. Best bread type? Ooh, that's a tough one, man. There's a lot of good breads. I mean, my favorite bread is Hawaiian bread. Hawaiian bread is fire. Absolutely fire. Hawaiian bread is probably my favorite. And then I would say... Mm. If I'm having like a sub sandwich, French bread. French bread for sure. What other bread do I really like? I mean, honey wheat berry is pretty good. Uh, potato bread's not bad. But yeah, for me, like, I feel like Hawaiian bread's like easily the winner. K 
KFC. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with just some basic white bread either. Same with, like, just some basic wheat bread. Like, you can't really go wrong with those. They're going to taste good on pretty much any sandwich. Yeah, that's right. You're not running away from me. Now, best fast food restaurant. Oh, Five Guys. I don't even have to, like, I don't even have to wait for that answer. Five Guys for the win. Five Guys will probably always be my favorite fast food chain. They just have best quality, best quality fast food. Every ingredient's, like, super fresh. Love it. It's pricey, but it's because it's good, right? Like, there's no way they'd make it cheap with the fact that everything they've got there is fresh. Like, they'd never freeze any of their stuff. It's always, like, fresh produce, uh, fresh meats. And most of the meat's, like, local meat. So, there's... I, I do think there is justification for the price of Five Guys. It's priced uh, high for a reason. And to be fair, $10 for a burger ain't terrible when you consider how big they are and also the quality level. You look at McDonald's and I think a Big Mac's like six bucks now. It's like five or six bucks here. I'd rather just get five guys. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Brennan, it's great. I always, uh, I always get the double, the double bacon cheeseburger all the way. It's just, it's so good. And then, like, sometimes if you order from their, I believe it's from their website or from Uber Eats, you can add extra patties on there. Like, if I really wanted to, I could order a Five Guys burger with, like, six patties. I mean, obviously I wouldn't, that's too much, but I once ordered a, a Five Guys burger with three patties and oh my gosh, it was like the best burger ever. It's kind of pricey. I think it's like an extra $3 or something to add an extra patty, but <laughs> it, uh, it makes a pretty insane burger. That's for sure. That thing was wild. <laughs> Oof, smoked him. Welcome back, uh, Hunter Call of the Wild. Y you don't gotta say it four times. I saw it the first time. Chill out. All right, later, Will. Thank you for dropping by, dude. Appreciate it. Can get a McDouble for two dollars? Not here. <laughs> Not in Oregon. Oregon's pricey. And again, you know, the quality difference. McDonald's stuff is not, uh, it's not exactly quality meat. It's not exactly quality stuff in McDonald's. A lot of it's just like frozen stuff. And I mean, let's be honest, those nuggets are not real chicken. It's so like, when you look at the quality, Five Guys is well-priced. If anything, I'm surprised that they keep a burger under 20 bucks. Oh yeah, the Cajun fries are insane. Unfortunately, the place around here overseasons them, so we haven't really been getting the Cajun fries recently just because they overseason them at the particular Five Guys that's near us. But uh, if they season them properly, yeah, the Cajun fries are probably some of the best fast food fries I've ever had.
Hey, Chope, how's it going? What time do I set it to? I'm setting it to 11. Because uh, by the time I get through a run, I've already, like, I barely use that amount of time. And I usually have to reset the time a couple times as I'm going through the run if there's a couple zones that are missing their deer. So I've just been uh, setting it to... Just been setting it to 11. And we need to get this guy out of there. Hey, Mac, how's it going? I would pay $20 for a good burger, to be honest. Yeah, me too. I would. If it if the quality meets the price range, then yeah. However, I wouldn't buy it as often if it was 20 bucks a burger, obviously, because... Oh, uh, oh, you guys didn't see that. That didn't happen. Does does not exist. Those shots don't exist. I didn't do that. I didn't do that, I promise. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, TTK. There's only a couple items on McDonald's menu that I still get. I'll occasionally get a Big Mac, but I have to be, like, craving it. I, I think I've only had, like, maybe two Big Macs in the last six months. And, like, the other thing is their McChicken. Their McChicken sandwich I like. I feel like the McChicken sandwich is probably one of their best value items. All right, guys, we're going bubblegum mode. The bubblegum blaster is in full swing. <laughs> See, this is how we get the great one. We just got to make him, like, so... Uh, disgusted with the creation we make that he has to come out and just be like, yo, wh what's that? <laughs> um, what's gonna look terrible? Oh, oh. Oh, gosh. What have I done? What have I done? This combination does not go together at all. This is how we get great ones to show up. We just gotta... Gosh, what do, what do we do here? Could go that. And yeah, the camo fits too well. Ooh, that one maybe? Nah, it doesn't show up good enough. Oh, there we go. Okay. That is vile. <laughs> I know, right? See, this is how we're going to get the great one to show. We just got to shock him with our rifle. This is a milkshake I want to make. Yeah, it does kind of look like <laughs> ingredients you'd put into a milkshake or something. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right, Johnny. Sounds about right. McDonald's pancakes are decent. They don't even have pancakes here anymore. Pretty sure in the U.S. they don't have uh, pancakes at McDonald's anymore. Unless they brought them back. Pretty sure the only pancake related thing they have is their uh, McGriddles. The McGriddles have like a pancake bun. Pretty sure that's it though. They do? I was told that they didn't. I was told the US didn't have pancakes at McDonald's anymore. Maybe it's just over here. Is it something they recently brought back? Because I know like a couple years ago they didn't have them. At least in Oregon. Oregon didn't have them back then. I haven't checked since then though.
Okay, confused how that shot didn't hit, but whatever. They've been there forever. Are they on the west coast, though? Like in Oregon? Because I, I cannot recall ever seeing it on the menu. I am like 99% sure that I've never seen them here. I'm going to look it up right now. I'm going to look it up right now. <laughs> Let's see what their breakfast menu looks like. Let's see. What do we got here? Menu breakfast. Okay, so here they've got bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, egg McMuffin, sausage McMuffin, sausage McMuffin with egg, sausage biscuit, sausage biscuit with egg. Uh, they've got the bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddles, sausage McGriddles. Um, oh, they do have hotcakes. What? I'm going to Google when they started making them here. Because I swear they didn't. Maybe it was the old McGriddles that they got rid of. Because I think they used to call them McGriddles and they got rid of those. And then they rebranded McGriddle to uh, like Sandwich, I think. I think that might be it. Oh, it is the McGriddles? Okay. That's what I'm thinking of then. I'm pretty sure they originally had pancakes that were called McGriddles, and they got rid of them, and then they rebranded the McGriddle as the sandwich. I think that's probably what I was confusing it with. Nah, Garnet. I I don't really uh, get fast food that often. Wait, did I pick up that three? I don't think I picked up that three. Hold up. <laughs> I don't think I picked up that three. I think it might be time to go back to the 308. I'm missing the second shot on some of these. That buck turned before I could get a shot on him. We might have to go back to 308 if we want to be efficient. Because I could have easily killed the second one if I had the 308. Boom. Little dime. Uh, I think we forgot to pick up the diamond back here, so let's go get it. But we can't make the 308 ugly. Yeah, we can. We can make the 308 ugly. It's just going to be a different kind of ugly, you know? Boom. We got the Bubblegum Blaster 3000. Two forty nine. Ooh, I shouldn't have come back for you. You silly level three. Do I like corn dogs? Ah, uh, yeah. They're not too bad. I don't eat them super often, but they're good. Am I excited for the Red Deer remodel? Yes, very much so. They desperately needed it with them being one of the oldest species in the game that still hadn't got a rework. It's definitely needed in my opinion. 
Though it's unfortunate that a lot of people will have to refine their zones. It is what it is, though. Should do a food review on stream? Eh, probably not. Not really my thing. Wow, we screwed up both those shots. Hmm. Feels bad. I'm not CJO, uh, TTK. Fried deer meat's the best food, no doubt. I mean, any type of venison's great. No matter how you cook it, it's great. Elk's better, though, in my opinion. I like elk way better. Elk is just something special, man. Elk is something special. There's a deer in there, but I can't quite see what it is. I'm also zeroed for 75, I just realized. Axis is way better than elk. I don't think I've had Axis, uh, Nicholas. Also, how's it going, man? Good to see ya. Hope you're doing great. Uh, for about seven or eight months, uh, Lies, I think they fixed it with the New England Mountains, uh, update. I believe when we got New England, they changed it up. Dream Hunt IRL would be Red Sag. Oh, same here. Same here. Red Deer is my dream hunt for sure. <laughs> yeah, Nicholas, that was fun, man. I enjoyed that stream. It's uh, it's fun to do the other uh, games sometimes. Which reminds me, if you guys haven't already, be sure to head over to my second channel if you want uh, if you want more extra gaming content and uh, even some IRL content, stuff that's not related to hunting games or fishing games, but other games like first-person shooters and uh, like occasionally some card openings and stuff. Eventually, there'll be some IRL fishing and hunting on the channels as well. So, if you haven't already, be sure to go uh, subscribe to Scarecrow Uncut. Ooh, that's a big boy three. That's a big boy three. Nice, we nailed them both. Yeah, there we go. Pike just linked it, so... That, uh, that link that Nightbot posted that says the second channel, that will lead you right to it. Boom. Maxway buckaroo. Oh no, Clay Drew. One of these days one will make it, you know? If you keep going. Eventually one will make it. Hey, Drawn, how's it going? How you been? Hope you're doing good. Yeah, we can pop both of those. Oof. 
Messed one up. Hey, Benjamin, how's it going? It's going good, Jason. We're at 740 kills right now, so... Hopefully we'll get it soon. Zach. Zach, what are you doing, man? Oh my gosh, again? <laughs> again! Again! <laughs> again! Oh my gosh. I mean, at this point, I'm not even surprised. <laughs> Holy! But thank you! <laughs> Holy, Zach. The legend. Oh my gosh. Congrats to everybody that just got gifted a membership. Zach, the absolute legend he is, coming through with the big gifteds. My gosh. Holy. I don't know what to say. Thank you. <laughs> I guess that's guess that's what I what I should say, right? Holy. Holy, 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 holy. Jeez, man. Jeez. That's insane. And Pike with another 10 gifted memberships. You guys are just too good to me. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much, Pike. Thank you, Pike. Thank you, Zach. You guys are amazing. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, 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 holy. Apparently, you guys summoned some level threes as well. That's two big threes in uh, not that many kills apart. Is the 308 a good gun? It's an amazing gun, uh, Marky Parky. My gosh. <laughs> yeah, bro, bro. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> It's happening. It's happening. Are any great ones getting remodeled? No, Jacob, I don't believe so. Holy, let's get the hype emotes going for Zach and Pike. Let's get the hype emotes going. Jeez. Connor, thank you for the super sticker, dude. Really appreciate the support. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're having a really good day. Yeah, look at all that hype. Look at all that hype building up. Unlimited power. But no response, so you know. <laughs> Rest in peace. Chat is now green. It is. It is super green right now. That's for sure. Is herd managing lions doable? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's doable for any species, but with some of them, it's more difficult. Like, uh, don't expect lions to be super easy to herd manage. It will be difficult to get started with them. That's really what it comes down to with herd management. It's like. How difficult will it be for the species? Some are easier than others. Some are like substantially easier than others. Did I miss one of them? I must have missed one. Either that or I'm just not focused. Oh, there we go. There we go, but did it die? I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about it. I can't I can't figure out where it went. Holy Nice BSA Latino. That's awesome. That's awesome. Is the 308 used for whitetail? Uh yes, it is. That's what I'm using right now. We are currently using the 308 AR. What happened? Why is there so much hype? Uh, tons of gifted memberships, uh, cowboy. 
Tons of gifted memberships from Zach and Pike. Everybody just going wild for him. Holy. Oh, that's a that's a big buckaroo rat there. Come on out of there. There might be two that we can shoot, actually. Yeah, there's definitely two in there. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, I whiffed hard. Oh, <laughs> never mind. We cleaned up. We cleaned up, man. Oh, you're getting strawberries? Nice, dude. Your jump scare through the window on the blind. Oh, dude, that would... Could you imagine how terrifying that'd be? Just blah. Wonder if anybody's like ever had like a bear or something like jump up at the window of the blind and then they just like panic fire. Holy. Uh, we will soon, uh, twist -o turn We will soon. Another three. Mela incoming. Ooh, if we get a Mela. We're getting a lot of threes right now. If we get a Mela to spawn, it's got a good chance of spawning on a super rare. Holy. Oh my gosh, Seven. That would have been terrifying. Oh my gosh. I'd hate to be the guy in the tree stand. That'd be so scary. Diamond. Boom. Super rares and great ones are worth 50 subs. My bounty is set in stone. Oh, jeez, man. Now you're putting the pressure on me. Holy. <laughs> you should make merch. I might in the future. I made it at one point and I didn't like the way it turned out, so I took it down. Uh, it's possible that in the future we might do some. My gosh. Hey, R53, how's it going? Oh, I see two deer. I see the butt of another buck. I see some buck butt. Buck butt? Buck butt. Sounds like I'm trying to mimic a chicken. Buck bark? Oh, I'm gonna hit the tree if I shoot. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. It finally got to the uh, super sticker. <laughs> All those memberships had to go through first. Holy. Got him. That's wild. <laughs> that is wild. No, tragic. I'm not going to. <laughs> Does shooting a doe mess up the grind? Uh, only for whitetail, and it doesn't always mess it up. It's just got a chance that it could make your herds change up a little bit. Sometimes shooting a doe will make the doe merge with a couple of the bucks you've shot and create a new zone. That's the only thing that'll really happen. And, I mean, sometimes, like, let's say you have a, a zone with, like, two does and two bucks. If you shoot two bucks and then accidentally hit a doe and she dies as well, then it would turn to a solo doe zone because you've killed all except one. So those are the scenarios where... Shooting a doe could be a problem. Biggest thing is that it could just merge with bucks and create a new zone. Holy. Couple deer there. That's a potential dime. That is a potential dime.
I have no clue, Brad. No clue what we're doing. As always, like I've said every time that I stream nowadays, uh, bears are gonna be questionable every single stream. It's all gonna depend on how I feel after I've hunted the whitetail. We've shot so many bears with literally nothing to show for it, so... It's just, it's hard to commit to it nowadays. Holy Jaden, thank you for the one month. Had this for a while, but forgot to send it. Good luck on the great one. Thank you so much, uh, Jaden. Hopefully we'll get a great one today. I believe in us. I believe we got this. I believe, I believe, I believe. Hopefully it will, Clager. Hopefully it will. Alright, I think at this point, we need to get the, uh, we need to get the fabled emotes going, guys. Drop those fabled emotes into the chat. Let's get the great one luck. Uh, yes, Anthony, I am. I'm on Leighton Lakes. Oh, you thought I spotted a 10 fabled? No, no 10 fableds yet, uh, unfortunately. Maybe we'll get one eventually today, though. The day is still young. We're only two and a half hours into this stream. I believe in us. We, we still got plenty of time. Thought you were stacking diamonds? No, you don't stack diamonds all the time. You only stack them to shoot down the rest of the animals on the map. We're past that already. We've, uh, we've been kind of past the stacking stage for a while. Uh, we stacked stuff briefly to fix a zone that we messed up, and now we're back to just shooting everything. If you get a great one, Whitetail, will we do bears? Uh, maybe. It depends. Uh, sometimes I like to continue grinding after we get a great one to see if we can get another one to pop, like, back to back. Nice, we got both of those that time. That shot right there is always a tough one to make, like the follow-up on the second buck in that zone. Have I seen any flying moose lately? Uh, yeah, I think the last stream somebody pointed out that there was a flying moose. They still be flying. When moose fly, they, they fly all over the world, apparently. They fly throughout the entire map. Hold on, I gotta see what song is this one. It's a little too slow for my playlist nowadays. There. Remove that one from my playlist because, eh, it's too slow paced for me. There we go. Need to see that fabled piebald, bro? That would be sweet. Oh my gosh, if we could get a fabled piebald, could you imagine how insane that would be? Oh my gosh, I don't even know what my reaction would be if I got a fabled piebald to spawn, like... That'd be the most absurd thing that could happen. I mean... That would- that would warrant an insane reaction at that point. <laughs> Two sixty. That's a dime. Kind of missed the video's intros. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, they just were not. Then they weren't really good for the channel. Tragic. The thing about intros in videos, right? Is if it's a new viewer, there's a high chance that they'll click off the video if I've got like a twenty-second intro and I'm not talking during the intro, right? There's a lot of people that'll just click off and never even give the video a chance. So I removed intros and just started getting straight to the point. Yeah, exactly, tragic, like, exactly. Sadly, uh, most people that are, if they're not already invested in your channel, if they're not already a subscriber, then there's a high chance that they'll see an intro and they'll just be like, okay, I'll go find another video that doesn't have, like, a lengthy intro. We 
When you get the typical, it's gonna be a Mela. Could you imagine? We not only get the typical wreck, but the first ever Mela Super Rare. Or Mela Ultra Rare, I mean. That would be insane. That, that would be the dream, man. Two birds, one stone. Yeah, yeah, I get that too, Zach. Like, that, that's what a lot of people liked about it. Maybe if I... Maybe one of these days I could do a specific series that incorporates it. We'll see. Hey, City Limits, how's it going? How many live streams do I do in a week? Uh, usually five on Call of the Wild and between one and three on other games on my uh, second channel. That's what I plan to plan to do at least. There we go. Any great ones yet? None yet, Pancake. We've killed a lot of deer today. Uh, we've officially killed like 220 roughly. Killed about 220 deer today. Little bit more if you count the like uh, 10 or so that I killed before the stream started. So roughly like 2.30 today. <laughs> no, Kaylee, I don't, I don't dance. I don't do the dances. Unless it's just like playing with my daughter. That's the only time that I'll dance is if she wants me to. Nice, Clay Drew, nice. Not sure, Mason. Not a clue. As always, I won't know until we actually get done with Whitetail. Then I'll know if I want to continue with bears. As always, bears are unlikely but possible. I don't know what to tell you guys. I just, I don't have fun with bears anymore. Every time we hunt bears on stream, I'm just waiting for it to be over. And I just don't feel like that's uh, good content, right? I don't feel like it's fun to watch me not enjoy what I'm doing. So that's why we're not really hunting bears much anymore. I'll probably just do most of my bear grinding off stream. Because then I don't have to like... Talk the whole time and pretend that I'm enjoying bears. <laughs> I'll probably just do bear hunting like while I'm watching videos or something. Or, like, listen to music while I'm shooting bears. At this point, like, I know I wanted to get it on stream for the longest time, but... Uh, I just don't enjoy bear hunting. And I'm not gonna force myself to do something I don't like. Don't like watching the bears? Yeah, I think a lot of people get bored with the bears, too, because there's no difference between a level 1 and a 9. They all look the same. But, I mean, a lot of people get tired of Whitetail as well. Maybe, maybe after we get a couple fallow deer, we'll get that bear great one. Or who knows, maybe it'll show up before the fallow deer hits. No, Chase, nothing too crazy today. It's been a pretty, uh, pretty normal day. Could never get tired of Whitetail? Yeah, me neither. I, I just really like the way the Great Ones look for them. I appreciate that, Pike, and I hear a lot of, um, I hear a lot of people say that. Most people in the channel, most of you that watch the channel, do want me to do what I enjoy. And like to watch the content more when I'm enjoying it, so yeah, I, I get that for sure. 
The Bears broke crow. They did, man. I can't do bears that often. We might, we might do like one bear stream a week. And I'll probably do a little bit of off stream grinding here and there, but after 7,600 kills or are we at 7,700 now? Let me look. We might be 77. Um, we're at 7,652. So 7,652. <laughs> Just, ah, oh man. It's rough, man. Could always do a raid stream on your other channel for the Black Bear grind. <laughs> yeah, do a do a do a stream shooting bears on my second channel. Do the uh, the PG the PG thirteen rated stream over there for bears. <laughs> yeah, maybe I don't know. Give up after two thousand? I don't blame you, man. Bears are tough. Like even getting a couple thousand of them, that's a that's a feat because they definitely do not make it easy. They definitely don't make it easy. I'm just unlucky, Chase, unfortunately. Most people get their Bear Great One before 4,000 kills. I mean, most of them are two to 3,000, I believe. I'm just very, very unlucky with them. Which is why at this point, I'm kind of just like, eh, whatever. If we get it, we get it. I've done what I can. Yeah, exactly, B. Jones. But what happens if you're not good? Then it's just like, you're screwed. That's got to be our situation with the bear. We're just not good enough for the bear. The whitetail, they're like, hey, man, you're good enough for us. But the bears are like, <laughs> I I'm better than you. <laughs> What's a good gun for all animals in Call of the Wild? Uh, there is no one gun that's good for all animals. Every animal's got different guns that can be used on it if you want to get the full score. Um, I'd say some of the best guns if you want to be able to get all species 308 AR is really good it's class 4 to 8 and then the 300 for your class 9 animals 243 handgun or 243 bolt action rifle for your uh, class 2 and 3 and then any of the 22 LR uh, weapons for your class 1 That is what I recommend. If you want to load out that covers everything. What's my favorite great one moose? Um, I'd say Fable Birch. Fable Two Tones, my second favorite. What did I walked into? Who knows, Miles? Who knows, man? Welcome back, Zacky. Could you imagine a gun that's class 1 to 9? And, like, it's not multiple ammo. Just one bullet that covers everything. That'd be nuts. That would be ridiculous. Uh, the birch are really nice. I like them. Ah, uh, yes, yes, you see the top indeed. Yeah, Zack and Pike decided to go wild again. They decided to do the whole, like, uh, make crow speechless routine. What do you mean 470 is great for rabbits? Oh, obviously. Best gun for them. Clearly. I mean, that's, like, known facts at this point. I think we'll leave this one for now. Uh, 
Uh, no, we don't know when Emerald Coast is going to release. They have not revealed when that will be. I imagine we'll get a answer soon, though. My guess is they're probably going to wait till certification passes on console. Then they might tell us, hopefully. Because at that point, they could guarantee a release date. Can then recover class 1 to 9 would be a rocket launcher. Yeah, it just obliterates everything. Let's be honest, that would be like a class 10, so you wouldn't get score on anything. <laughs> Why do you think they announced it so early? Uh, that's how they've done things for the last couple maps, uh, Hunting Gamer. Last couple maps they announced like a month before the release, or like three weeks before the release. They've always kind of done it that way in recent times. Um, well, one gifted membership is $5, I believe, Cole. I believe it's $5 for one gifted membership, so 50 times 5, essentially. Because it always goes with Tier 2. Gifted memberships always go with a Tier 2 membership level. And my Tier 2 is $4.99. So it's it's an absurd amount. It's uh, It's very generous. Absurdly generous. There we go. Let's smoke this one right here. Yeah, it is. It's it's insane, man. It's insane. Where will I do the fallow grind? Probably Tiaboroa, unless Australia is really good. Oh yeah, I guess that I guess it differs on where you live, true. I guess it depends on if uh if you've got like uh taxes that you pay when you buy stuff cuz some some states calculate tax whenever you uh purchase something. Others, it's taken out of like your pay. So I guess if you're in a uh, state that does taxes on every purchase, then it would be more than 250. And if you live in a different country, then it would um, uh, what's it called? Convert it differently. Yes, and it's crazy. Later, R53, thank you for dropping in. A lot of people have said they will use the new next map, but it doesn't have a lot of water. That's a good thing if you're a drink zone grinder. Minimal water is a good thing because it means that you won't have to go to too many places to find all of your drink zones. Oh no, Dawson. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. It happens. I, I messed up really bad on a raccoon dog a couple weeks ago. Gave me the same type of feeling. It was rough. It happens though, man. Like, can't win them all, right? There's going to be some that you mess up. Yes, essentially, Cole. And then YouTube takes 30% of whatever I make as well. So, any donations, ad revenue, memberships, uh, YouTube takes 30% of it, and then I receive 70% of it. Watch the shot on my first great one, Red Deer, by half a millimeter. Ooh, that's rough, Mr. Squirrel. That's rough. Which is why New England sucks for grinding because it has too much water. Exactly. There's too much water to search. The less water on a map that you have, the better it is for grinding. Which is kind of why a lot of people get a little bit overwhelmed trying to find whitetail zones on Layton because this river system is huge and they can be at all these tiny little lakes along the side. Oh, hey, there it is. I was going to say, where's the other buck? Hmm. 
Nice. Got shot my first one at like a level 30 initial spawn. Ooh, feels bad, man. Uh, gut shotting's gotta be the worst. Hit a diamond potential blue wildebeest, but went in between the lungs and spine. Never found it. Never lost a drop of health. It's probably still alive if it's on your map. I mean, if it was multiplayer, it's gone. But if it was on your map, then it's probably still there. Just shot a bison with a max of 254, but only scored 211. Unfortunate, Travis. Unfortunate, man. Rancho used to be good for great one hunting. Got two of mine there. Yeah, Rancho used to be great. I got my first... Uh, got my first great one there. Uh, second came from Layton. And then I think I got one or two... Two, I got two more on Rancho. Yeah, two more on Rancho. And then every Great One Whitetail after that has been off of Layton. Pretty crazy to think how many I've got off Layton at this point. Layton has just been my map for Whitetail. Yeah, I, I could see that, Cooper. It all depends on the, the layout you get for your drink zones. If you get a good uh, dispersal of zones and they're in they're primarily in the good lakes, then I could see it still being okay. Uh, the big problem with Rancho is like a few of the main lakes where Whitetail are for me are super brushy, hilly lakes. So not only do I have like tons of like dips and dives around the edge, but there's brush all over them. So it makes it kind of tough. One of these days, I'd love to do another Rancho grind. I just, I wouldn't even know where to start. We tried doing one before we went to Layton, and it just did not go well. Maybe if they ever reset Whitetail again, I'll end up doing Rancho. But I think uh, as long as they're not resetting Whitetail, which as of now, there seems to be no plans to do that again, we'll probably just stick to Layton because it's insane. Oh, 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 dropped him on the spot. So satisfying. Do a grind on Rev. I have considered it because my moose are just not behaving on Rev. My moose have been so weird on Rev, so I am considering eventually doing Whitetail there. Mississippi? No. I've tried Mississippi Whitetail and I hated it. How many Whitetail am I averaging an hour? Uh, roughly like 80 to 90. On good, good runs or on good hours when they're all behaving and cooperating, I can get 100. On really bad runs, about 70, but average is like 80 to 90. We're not hitting the numbers we used to, but we're doing okay. Seven hundred and eighty nine kills. Yeah, it's rough, Sen. And not to mention the Gators. The Gators are a big problem on Mississippi as well. I always had major Gator issues because a lot of my zones are along the river and the coast. Back when we uh, hunted it briefly. Oh, that's not bad, Clay Drew. That's good for Red Deer. Because Red Deer dies slower, so that's actually really good. Yeah, true, Cole. I'd say the only thing that, like, uh, might cancel that out a little bit is that there's a lot more water you have to search on Rev. Layton has them condensed to half of the map, while uh, Rev, it's like three quarters of the map you have to search. So you have more places you have to search, like more water. But yeah, it is less brushy, so I feel like they average each other out and it makes Layton and Rev very, like, 
on par with each other. In terms of how quickly you can find all your zones and get them managed down. I mean, there's a lot of zones in the middle and like the like, uh, I usually look at Rev in like, th in like four quarters of the map, right? There's the top quarter and then the middle has two quarters and the bottom has another quarter. The two quarters of the map in the middle, they can have lots of whitetail as well. The only places you really don't find whitetail on Rev on Thule is the coast. The southern coast, there's not really any zones. Die already! Hey, Pancake, how's it going? Welcome back, dude. Six kills away from 800. We're getting up there. We are getting up there. There's one of them. Here's the blood from the other. Got to make sure I didn't hit a doe because I, I thought I might have for a second, but I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, no more blood. It's just this guy. I was a little worried for a brief second, but I think we're okay. Uh, not really, Brittany. You missed a few diamonds, but no rares, no great ones. Nothing like super crazy. No uh, next level absurd trophies today. And down he goes. Um, I don't know, Travis. I'm actually not sure. Did I do HM for the Moose Great One Grind on Revon Thule? No, I didn't. I tried it for like 10 hours and I stopped because it was just not working good. That's a big one. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Moose uh, HM at all. Moose kind of sucked for HM. They, they just don't behave like uh, consistently enough. They're just not consistent, so it makes it really hard to manage them. They're definitely nowhere as consistent as Whitetail for herd management. Do I change my rifle skin every time? Yeah, pretty much every day. Yeah, no problem, Golden Princess. No problem. Always happy to support other creators, you know? Boom! 263. Beautiful. We're getting a lot of diamonds today. We started out kind of slow, but now we're picking it back up. We're currently at 2600. We just hit 2600. Holy! That's crazy. Which map is HM? HM is not a map. It's a grinding method called herd management. Herd management is essentially the act of only shooting the big deer and never shooting the low levels. So for Whitetail, I never shoot level 1s unless they show up in one of my main 9 zones. I essentially have loaded every zone on my map with level 1s except for the 9 zones that I'm grinding. And that makes it so more level 3s spawn. 258. Boom. Back-to-back -back diamonds. Love to see it. And that's a 239 as well. We're going to get a great one. There's a lot of big boys spawning. Nice, NJH. That's awesome, dude. Good luck on your grind, man. Is that the Zarza? Yes, it is. 
The uh, Zarza 308 AR is what I'm using right now. It's a really good gun. Love it. What happens if you shoot a female in the grind? Uh, depending on how it happened, um, it could make nothing happen, or if you shoot a doe with like white tail, I think it's just really with white tail. If you shoot a doe on the white tail grind, sometimes that doe will merge with a few of the bucks you've killed and create a brand new zone. That's worst case scenario. Uh, best case scenario is that she'll just swap with one of the bucks and they'll like trade zones. That happens occasionally. I've had a few situations recently where we accidentally killed a doe and she replaced one of the bucks in one of my zones and the buck went to where I killed her. So it, it seems like it's unpredictable which path it takes, but it's either going to swap, go back to the same spot, or create a new zone if you shoot a doe accidentally. Which is why I recommend just not doing it, because then you don't have to worry about which one of those three it's going to do. Can you get a great one from only killing a couple of whitetail? Yes, my lowest kill count great one was 80 kills. So you definitely can get them in low kill counts. It's not as common, but it can happen. Oh, the other buck's there somewhere, I think. Jeez, Cooper, hopefully you'll get it soon. Hopefully you'll get it soon. How much is the average kills for a grind? It depends on the species. For whitetail, uh, between 1,000 and 2,000. For something like moose, it's 500 to 1,500. Red deer is 2,000 to 3,000. Bears are 2,000 to 3,000 as well. Dropping them. Wow, this buck was clear over here. Interesting. <laughs> Feels bad, Clay Drew. That's like me with my bear grind, though, right? My bear grind's just been terrible. Nice, Owen. That's awesome, dude. I mean, the uh, the HM grinds, they're not going to get you more great ones, but I appreciate the, uh, the thanks there. Yeah, herd management isn't going to make your great ones spawn quicker. You just got really lucky with getting them 27 kills from each other. That's insane, dude. I haven't even got great ones to spawn 27 kills apart. My lowest was the 80. Uh, from Whitetail a while ago. Hey, Benjamin, it's going good, dude. It's going good. I see that you got gifted one of the memberships. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, no, Johnny, you're going back to Rev Whitetail. What's your plan for them? What's your plan for the Rev Whitetail? Are you going to try uh, maybe going to other zones or looking somewhere else? Curious. Lowest was zero with the initial spawn. I don't count the initial spawn as a grind, though, Tragic, because I wasn't grinding. I was looking for zones for a guide, and then I found that. Shoot and hope for the best. Oh, perfect. I mean, that's about as good of a strategy as you could go for with how they've been acting for you. Is 100 moose zones good to start a grind? You can start your grind the second you find a single zone, BSA Latino. You don't have to wait to find all your zones. You can start blasting them the second you find your first zone. In fact, I recommend it. I recommend starting your grind the second you find a zone. Because anytime that you're not shooting stuff and you're... Anytime you're searching your map but not shooting them, 
In my opinion, that is a waste of time because you could have been already progressing towards getting a great one by uh, shooting them as you're finding the zones. So I, I would say get started with it. Uh, yes, Andrew Quartz. So if it's a single zone, you definitely want to put them far away. However, if you've got zones where they're about like right here, like right here, we got two zones that are about 210 meters apart, right? And so what you can do is you can place it on top. When you fast travel to the first one, that zone will not render in. And then you can shoot the one across. And then when you fast travel to this zone, the ones that you were on top of will render in and they'll be unspooked. And so then you can shoot those ones and then fast travel back over and claim them. In areas where you have the zones close enough to do that, it can be very, very efficient. Especially like super time efficient. But it's not for every situation. It's a situational thing, right? It's only going to work on zones where you've got them really close together, but not too close to where you can't get them to render in properly. Zones that are like two to three hundred meters apart work really good with that type of a technique. I probably didn't explain that as good as I could have, but ho hopefully, uh, hopefully you got it. I know, right, Ron? I'm hoping we can hit 40 great ones before the update. We're 35 currently. If I just keep going for Whitetail, I'm sure we can do it. What map am I on? I'm currently on Leighton Lake District. Love this map. Nothing there. Maybe we'll do a quick reset. How many zones am I at for Whitetail? Uh, 72. Currently at 72. I think I started with like 65 and then after I hunted them, like seven more zones got created. Actually, I might have started at 60. I think I started at around 60 and then it's gone up to 72 after I grinded. Strolling through Verhonga, Gemswalk ran over and said hi, almost killed me. <laughs> sounds about right. That's uh, That sounds like a Verhonga Savannah type moment. <gasps> we got a one here! Yes! Oh my gosh, finally we got another one here. That means I can kill this two. Finally, we can kill off the two. I was leaving that fence rack in place of that one that we killed. And now the level one has finally respawned here. So that means we can kill off that fence rack too. And we once again have a level one in this zone. I'm so glad we didn't ruin this zone that day that we accidentally killed the one. And now it's going to be back to normal. Hopefully it goes well for you, Clay Drew. Yeah, I kind of figured that was a typo, Johnny. I was going to say, wait, are you saying it's fun? <laughs> Do you know the exact date the Australia map's coming out? No, we don't. They have not revealed when that's going to be. As of now, all we know is that it'll probably be this month. It's looking like it'll be this month for sure. Hard to say exactly when, though. There's a one, but what else? Let's reset. I only see one of them here. Hey, there we go. There he is.
And now that we got that one to spawn in the other zone, I think we can kill this guy. To be honest. That way we've got more to shoot in this zone. I was keeping a couple extra ones because I didn't want to... I wanted to keep it the same amount that we had before we accidentally killed the one in that zone. But now that we got it back there, we can take down this one. And try to get things back up to the same diamond rate we had before. Uh, yes, I am using the poly tips. I always use the poly tips when available. Because they have much better penetration. Not a dime, I don't think. Well, whatever it is, it's dead now. I didn't make lots of money. Uh, grinding for high value species that are super plentiful. That's the way that I did it. I grinded red deer for a long time. Red deer give so much money and they're super plentiful on Tiabaroa. Makes it to the point where it's just a money farm. It is a straight up money factory. It's kind of crazy how much you earn from red deer hunting. That's a little too. Look at that little feller. Uh, do you worry that after the Red Deer Remaster, they'll nerf their cell value? I don't think so, Seven. I think it's just furs. I think Jaxie said that it's just the furs got reworked. So it's like a visual rework on them. Oh yeah, it's gonna be nuts, Zaki. I'm excited for it, especially if we decide to do Tiabaroa. A Tiabaroa is gonna be a gold mine for Fallow. Like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be such a broken uh, grind. It's just gonna be so brokenly good. What's my favorite rifle in Call of the Wild? My favorite is the 308 AR. A uh, second favorite, probably 300 Magnum. All right, let's see. Nothing. All right, let's go over here. Just kill a diamond female gunswalk. Let's go. Nice, metal man. Nice. Nothing there either. Okay, we got some uh, delayed respawns. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. They're uh, misbehaving, I see. Uh-oh, same thing over here. Yeah, we had a few that didn't respawn. Unfortunate, man. Yeah, nothing there. It's just the three level ones and females. Is an albino female whitetail rare? Uh, yeah. Any albino is rare. For sure. Albinos are quite rare for pretty much any species that you can find one on. In fact, yeah, I think literally every species that has an albino, the albino is rare. If these bison can't get the legacy, search my map and two under level 10 multiplayer maps. Unfortunate, man. I You'll get it eventually. You know, it's one of those things you just got to keep trying. Maybe every day try like an hour or two of searching and I'm sure eventually it will show. 
Eventually, you're bound to find something if you keep trying. <laughs> you having trouble there, Mike? <laughs> oh, man. Wait, what even happened? Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, <clears throat> rest in peace, pancake. <laughs> Nice, Clay Drew, nice. How do you have zero recoil? Uh, well, the big one is compensating. And, where is it? This right here, recoil management level three. It's a combination of recoil management level three and pulling down on my mouse every time I take a shot. Uh, Pancake said a naughty word. He's he's gone. And I'm not talking just like a normal naughty word, like uh Yeah, we're not gonna go there. <laughs> that that is uh that that is a insta ban. <laughs> the naughty word. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Pretty much. So random? That's what I'm saying. Where did that even come from? Pancake's been fine for like a month. <laughs> that was that was very odd. Can't say I expected that at all. How's it going, by the way, Caitlin? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing great. Yeah, I, I don't know anything outdoors, especially like in such a random fashion. Like, where did that come from? Uh, you could say, JK, you could say. It could be tragic, you never know. It could be a, a friend took his phone, but the thing is, like, I have no way to know, so. Better safe than sorry, right? <laughs> yeah, Cable. <laughs> Had a level 1 piebald moose from my grind that's basically a super rare, right? Uh, yeah, that's really rare. Level 1 piebald moose is absurdly rare. That's more rare than a super rare, probably. Um, I can't say it on YouTube, Nugget. That's the- that's the- That's the most I'll say. I can't say it on YouTube. I'd get banned and canceled. I cannot, uh, I cannot repeat what he said. Nice. What's my favorite great one? My favorite great one is the uh, moose. The moose just looks so phenomenal. It's unfortunate moose are so tough to uh, tough to hunt. <laughs> yeah, Nappy, hundred <laughs> percent. He was telling me that bears are fun. Uh, totally. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. He he was like scarecrow. Bears aren't that bad, okay? That's what he said. To <laughs> oh my gosh, that's great. That's funny. <laughs> I know, Caitlin, I know you love the bears. I know. Uh, oh, wait, we do have one here. 
There he is. Dropping him with those hard shots today. Boom. He said pheasants were easy. <laughs> Bro loves bears? Ah! That loves a strong word for bears. Did Zach do it again with the 50? He did. He did. And then Pike uh, came in with a 10 as well. It's been a wild day. Found a level five fallow, but didn't get its zones. Can't find it. What do I do? Ooh. Hmm. Really, the only thing you can do is search all the places they can be. I would start by searching the water that was in the approximate area where you found it. Is that him? Yeah, it's him. Who names their alt account? Pancake alt, pancake alt. Who does that? And that just even further confirms that it's for attention. <laughs> that just even further confirms it was for attention. He ain't sorry, that's for sure. Like, tell me you meant it without actually saying you meant it, you know? <laughs> I I don't think I've ever seen anybody be more obvious. Oh no, Merle. Way worse than that. But we're gonna we're gonna move on now. We're gonna move on. Boom. What's my favorite reserve? My favorite reserve is Revon Tuli Coast. Just spawned a great one. Nice, wet owl. That's awesome. That is awesome, dude. What species? I can't remember what species you were going for the other day when you were talking about it. Yeah, quit talking about him. The more attention we give him, the more he gets what he wants, right? So let's just drop the subject. Just drop the topic. We're moving on. We're moving on. Don't don't give the uh don't give them the attention they seek. Holy. 833 kills now, by the way, in this grind. <laughs> That's hilarious, Fellblade. That is hilarious.
Come on, Whitetail, where are you? Where's the Great One? Or Scarecrow? Can tell it's almost update time. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Sounds about right. <laughs> oh, a new one. I mean, I don't need another one here, but you know, I appreciate you showing up and at least trying. You know, maybe my mic cut out when I said I wanted a great one and the game just heard one and so it spawned a one in this zone. That's gotta be it, right? Uh, yeah, Cam. If they do early access, which I don't see any reason why they wouldn't, then yes, of course, I will indeed be a part of it. Oh, I forgot about that mohawk. I forgot that uh, Diablo 4 released. Holy. I'm going to have to dive into that on the second channel at some point. Oh, cool. Holy metal man, you know. That right there, that's a real beast. Holy. Alright, let's pop uh, these ones real quick and then we'll move to the last couple zones. Yeah, exactly, Caitlin. I don't know who thinks I'm ignoring them, but no, I'm probably just not seeing your messages. There is a lot of people in here, so I, I can't respond to everything. Usually when there's this many people in the chat, I pick out like maybe two or three messages per like per 20. So I don't get to read off a lot of them because it's just impossible to read off all of them. I'd have to, like, not play the game at all if I wanted to read every single message. Because, you know, most of the time I'm looking at the game, shooting the whitetail, and then I glance over at chat, pick out a couple messages, go back to shooting whitetail. Uh, you know, 30 seconds later, I'll peek over again, read a message or two. You can't read everything, sadly. It's just not possible. Pretty much, Cam. Yeah, 3 and 20 or so. <laughs> Hey, Gavin, how's it going, dude? There's this one. Did you ever get a great one, Black Bear? No, I didn't. No great one, Bear. We're at 7,600 kills for the Bear Grind, and he still has not shown up. At this point, I don't know if I'll ever get it. And if I do, it'll probably be... Long time from now, sadly. At this point, I've just accepted that we'll get it when we get it. Should continue the Black Bear grind. I, I don't want to hate my time playing the game, though, Ricey, so I'm not going to force myself to hunt bears. It's got to that point, 7,600 kills in, and I despise everything about Black Bear grinding. I just can't do it if I want to stay sane while I'm playing this game. And let's be honest, if Crow's not enjoying what he's doing, the stream's not going to be as fun to watch, so... We're only going to hunt bears on days where I feel like I can tolerate it. It's random, Joshua. It's completely random. Alrighty, this is probably going to be the last zone of the stream. Little bit shorter than normal, right? But I, I smell something delicious downstairs. 
and my video goes live at 6, so by the time I finish eating, the video is already going to be live, so we're just going to go ahead and end here, probably. We'll, uh, hunt whatever's in this zone, but, yeah, we're probably going to end it, because I got to go eat, and then my video will be live shortly after. So stay tuned, guys. 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, exactly an hour and 18 minutes from now, we will have a brand new video hunting for one of the species that is getting true racks. Trying to get as much as we can of those species before we can no longer get the legacy racks or the legacy horns. And we did get something pretty cool in the video, so... Stay tuned for that. It's going to be exciting. But thank you all so much for watching. Again, thank you to Zach and Pike and everybody else that uh, gifted memberships or renewed their memberships or donated to the stream. Appreciate each and every one of you. And thank you to everybody that was just here to watch as well. You guys support it just as much by uh, sticking by the uh, streams and the videos. Really appreciate it, guys. Thank you all so much, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.